million dollars worth of game. We love all our supporters out there for rocking with us for so many years. We got everything going on wherever you like. Gilly on Sports, Where's Wallow, Adventures, whatever it is. What you need to do right now, I need you to push the subscribe button, but also share, like, go down below, get some merch. Share, like, get some merch, subscribe. We got more to come. Subscribe right now. Million dollars worth of game. Ah. Yo, he's in the phone. Yeah. What I'm talking about. Yo. What's up, legend? Like what's that. up? God damn, baby. What's up, brother? What's up? Oh, what's up? man. Right, so my God. Right here. Right here. Right here. We right love right the life. Good, right here. Right here. You know, y'all my inspiration. You know, y'all my inspiration. Yeah. yeah. Talk to me. Let's get it. Let's bro, get the it. The pandemic. The pandemic, we were snapping. We was running we around. Know, like, we know what to do. We, just kept, I got we kept it going. out. We kept going. We was willing to die about this shit. We, we had to, to. Like, even me, I was like, yo, sh we, let's do it bad. We about to go. We don't know where the money gonna come from. Right. No, this yeah. is the time where people got creative. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. we kept going. It was know, creative. And then I'm telling niggas, but the ill part about it is, y'all the new promo run. Facts. All that. Cause, because we don't ask you dumb sh Especially you, you was good, boy. I white. What's the show with the with the with the with the funny Marco? Funny Marco. Yeah. Yeah. You crazy? <laughs> you say you crazy? <laughs> yo, y'all two together. The, the, the chemistry, bro. It's the yin to the yang. But well, we real cousins though, so we've been some older cousin. You know what I mean? Real cousins. Yeah, yeah. he's fifty two. I'm forty. Oh, out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we were talking about yesterday, right? I said I keep the young people around. I said, yeah, fuck. Facts. You always make me 50 and shit. I ain't 50 yet, baby. <laughs> 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 yeah, I throw a birthday party. This is 51st birthday, motherfucker. Happy 51st. 47. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, but you ain't gonna go years old me yet. Same thing. Ah! It's the same, same thing. thing. I'm hoping I can get the 50, 60, 70, and 80. Good. Wow. Shit. This shit is crazy, man. I, I watch out. all your motivational shit. I repost them too. That's a blessing, man. I see, I be seeing them. But you gotta understand, hearing that from you is like a blessing because I remember, man, you was doing shit in 92 for Josie, man. You did shit for everybody. You know what I mean? So just being, I was in prison, seeing a lot of, I seen Think your he whole career. A story about I am a hip hop historian, man. What you talking about? <laughs> I see hip hop. And music and story, dog. Especially, but, but like just seeing, yeah. how, seeing how you dictated whole, I'm talking about whole decades. I'm talking about that's, that's just historical. You touched everybody. You see what I'm saying? And there's not a lot of people that touch so many different ways. Well, you got people that we have in our culture that we give props to for making just one genre, just staying mm -hmm. in hip hop. You know what I mean? And it's all all of y'all, the, the great thing that we got is everybody a legend and y'all came from nothing. The creativity was just the thought of y'all hearing stuff in y'all mind, wherever you, wherever Premier, wherever Dre, <coughs> wherever Kanye, you know, the, uh, the Neptunes, uh, Dame Grease, mm. um, Swiss. You know, when you think about all these dudes, it just be like, damn, we got some creative motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Who are you telling me? You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Battle Cat, you know what I mean? Um, uh, beats by the pound, track masters. Um, you just so so you just when you think about that, it's I like all about what you mean? I listen to all this. Shit. You I listen, you real you real. I, li I listen to all like I listen uh, 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 Juicy J, uh, DJ Paul. You know what I mean? So you you think about all these dudes that was making sounds. It just be like, what's my man name? Easy Mo B. Yeah, Easy Mo B. He did all hard. he did all boom thugs. Boom. So 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 when you think about you think about that, it's like. I just be like, that's why I sit there. You got a th on this I'll be like, you got all the. I'm like, when is people going to be inspired to be producers? Because producers live longer than everybody. Y'all the coaches. The coach, Phil Jackson had Mike and he had Kobe. Mm -hmm. The coaches last longer than the players. Mm -hmm. But nobody never look at it like that. I'm looking at it like, man, why ain't nobody making no. Like being a producer where they sitting in there with a team and, and getting a team around them. I'm trying to bring you. That's cold. I'm, you I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing it now, but no, it's these, like. These, one, these motherfuckers right here, it's cold. They cold as ice. I, I'm just trying to. That's, cool. I mean, that, I, that's what gives me juice. But that, I be trying to tell. It's different between a producer and people, uh, producers and hit makers. Like a hit maker is. is easy. Don't forget that. Don't forget the uh, <coughs> track masters. So, so they, they 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 broke people. People don't believe in breaking people. people. No, because what happened is I think everybody the Instagram fucked it up because the producer was somebody that's just going there and they love being in here. They don't care about you knowing me or what's going on. But I think that the, the social media took the whole aspect out of being a creator and just saying, 
I'm going to make the illest join. It's the sound I have in my mind. See, being in the crib and saying, oh, I got to get to the studio. I got this shit for Yo, Jodeci. Oh, you know, I got this shit for... What, what you just put in my mind? What? This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, um, life ain't going your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught your woman cheating today. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought your check was coming in. It didn't come your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka is distilled five times. It's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. Now, you could drink it straight up. You could drink it on the rocks. You could drink this with juice or soda. Or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam mule. That's up to you. But whenever you out and about at your local liquor store, don't you walk past this New Amsterdam. Why would you do that? Why would you walk past some vodka that's distilled five times and filtered three times? Hmm? Hmm? Get you so groovy. Make you feel good. Hmm? Get Get you going right when you're having a bad day. Hmm. So what we talking about, New Amsterdam Vodka, the official vodka of Barstool Sports. Get you some. And shout out to the New Amsterdam queen. You know, my wife be at the crib doing it up with her girlfriends, making all types of cocktails, but that's what they do. It's New Amsterdam. Right. Being that you and Pharrell, right, mm -hmm. is both from VA. Yeah. Do that make VA the biggest production house ever in hip hop, ever in music? Mm. Mm. That's fact. <laughs> yeah. You never look at it. Probably never even thought about that. Probably. Like if they if they put y'all shit together, because, because, nobody would go against okay, the catalog. Cali got Dre, but who else they got? They got they, some they got They people. got but can they we talk about two legend legends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In VA, put tips and put that right here. <laughs> yeah, that's a little, that's a little different. That's okay. that's a little different. Two, nobody that big. V, like VA, they did do them. I don't know New York. New York. New York. Yeah, they got New York got everybody. New York People got everybody. Yeah. Hold it. No, it got some. Yeah. New York got everybody. All the, all the legends. They got everybody. Tell me the two biggest producers came out of New York. What you mean DJ? I just Premier. need to know. DJ Premier. Just just say DJ Premier. Then who else? And it's a yeah. lot, man. Who? Dame Swiss, Grease. Swift, Swift. Dame Grease, Swiss. That's not good. To me, that's not good. Plan. I know. They got some shit, man. They don't. I'm just saying, they got some shit, you Bro. know. But but listen, producers. I know how you look. I, 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 but no, but no. I know. See, you go on. I apologize. <laughs> Did you make Cry Me a River? Mm -hmm. but, 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 on, but, but still, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> hold on, don't we talk about stop, drop, shut them down, open up, shut. That's a great they great hits, but we talk about cry me a river. I understand, but see, listen, listen. Cry me a river. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm a producer historian. You I'm not. I'm just, I'm just. But saying. I just know cry me a Let me just river. I'm not saying that, but it's still as them as producers. They still looking at it just like it sounds. They going. They not going for sales. All the, I, you understand oh. the bank account, but they. I know. I know. He just sat there and was like, God damn. He just sat there and heard production was like, Yeah, that was cold, Premier. That was that was that, a cold. Absolutely. That was, and, and it wasn't about how many you sell. It's it it about the art of creating and being able to say, you know what, we doing, we doing our thing. We moving the culture forward mm -hmm. with different sounds. Cause, okay. Cause this probably sounds that he. Who your favorite producer? Man, my one, one, one. Molly Mall. Oh, I don't. I forget Molly. Molly was a legend. <laughs> Molly was a legend. He had listen for him. Just a symphony alone. That's all you can say. For for no, I understand, but just for the sake of going back and forth. Just, listen, listen. That's you mean to tell me he did all that cold chilling shit? He did. He did Kane. He did G Rap. He did Craig G. Ace. He did Biz. He he got that's some classic shit. rappers. Yeah, still, it, I'm not saying that. That's, that's, saying. that's what I'm saying. But 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 listen, that's all yeah, rappers. All great rappers. I understand that, but this, did but you're putting anything up against it, man. Singer. You can't do that. Singer. <laughs> I know you did anything. You can't do that shit. You can't put Michael Jackson against Jay Z. That but I might not know. Man, they got everybody. Carrie Hilson, Destiny, can't get um, anybody. Did you know I did Drunk and Love? I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Come on, he said that he might not know. The Pussycat Dolls and all oh, that shit. Sh he went to the Pussycat Dolls. Like, so I understand that. I'm not talking about that. I can't. I I'm just talking about what you're When I'm talking about, if that, now, now we talking about, it, man, I don't want to say it. If you want to talk about that, you got to talk about Quincy Jones and tell That's what you got to talk. start saying then. You can't just say Quincy it. Jones wrote. You mean, it ain't about where he's from. Quincy Jones, Mike, man. Come on, man. But, uh, but what I'm saying is, where's he from? He, I don't, I don't know. know. He's a, he a triple OG to the third power, man. But <laughs> third power. See, you're not understanding what I'm saying, bro. What yeah, I'm, I don't understand what you're what saying. saying. Yeah, is, we got you. All right, but, yeah. No, no, no. Listen, what I'm saying is, you had two Chicago. of the most powerful motherfuckers 
ever in music producers to from come here. out of VA. What I'm saying, okay, Quincy Jones is from where, okay, give me another motherfucker that's on that level right there where you could be like, okay, maybe such and such, maybe South Carolina got it over here. Yes, yes. I, I would say, I would say if anybody would probably give us a, 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 a challenge, it would be Chicago. Yeah. Because of who? I was Kanye. Kanye. And, and Quincy Quincy's from Chicago. All right, see, that's the debate right there. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Oh, here you go. Uh -oh. Okay, I know his study. He's going no, through his no, role no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me. It, it don't have to be on a level. Can we just talk about impact of the moment? And we talking about impact of the moment, we talking about Manny Fresh and Beats by the Pound. Hmm. Okay. New Orleans, uh, Louisiana. So, yeah. so you, so you can't. I was wondering where Cash Money was. No, no, I, I, no, no, Manny. You know, so, so you, you, you talking about that? So it's like impact to, but, but you can never mention Quincy. With nobody, and all the reason I'm saying, that's fact. Like, like yeah. th Thriller, Michael Jack, come on, bro. Like, we can't do that. That's like a slaughter. He by himself is just like he's a slaughter. He's on we island. We all the world, all this crazy shit. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Oh, Leave shit. him the f alone. Yeah, he's on the island. Yeah. yeah. But, but when you talk about producer, Prince was a producer. Oh, Prince was one of the illest. Prince was a producer. You know what I mean? So, so my whole thing is like, it, it's like. All I'm saying is, man, I think an argument started, and I got it. We, we gonna say the rest of the no, I'm saying you gonna start an argument. That's yeah. a bullshit argument. Not with me. I know what the f going That's on. That's what I need you to do. Correct me. I know, yeah, because it's cool. Me. I need somebody got to take the blood of the shit. I don't got no problem taking it. <laughs> don't forget, don't forget. I scream out, VA might be the greatest that ever did it. They got tip over. Tell me somebody. Then you can correct me. Hold up, hold up, fella. And then they, be, then I go online. Oh, Gilly, oh, oh. stupid as shit. He said oh, this. No, we got oh, what's name cool. too. We got what's name too. Pop Tracks. No, Pop Tracks dad in the Philadelphia International. He's yeah. Campbell and Huff. Yeah. Oh, I was about to go to that Philly. Don't play no games, man. I'm telling you, they like Philly. Well, let's bring it to say that. Right, I'm just saying. I'm just, but but I'm just saying. You saying? I understand what you saying. Cause they didn't went to the. They went to Mars with the shit that came back. Let's not be free. These guys. Cause I'm happy in the dead. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm happy in the dead. Retain the spirit. See how I got through in the room. Where I'm at, even here. No, 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 no. One of my favorite joints of all time. All time of Pharrell. Eminoid. Oh no. No, no. Oh, what about no. him as Snoop? Oh, oh, oh. Do, 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 do. What about him as Snoop? Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, beautiful. I just want you to know beautiful. you're my Amazing. favorite girl. Oh, oh, you're the camera oh, too. Oh, oh, the skateboard. Oh, oh. I'm not talking to Pharrell. I'm talking not Pharrell Williams, Louis Vuitton. I'm talking to skateboard. You and Chad, we got to sit down. We coming to VA. We got to figure it out some type of way. We got to sit down. Cause don't forget Chad. Chad had something to do with Chad, a lot of this. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's fact. That's fact. Don't forget that's Chad had something to do with it. You gotta. You don't remember, bro? I was at. Nala was down there with Chad. I was with Pharrell Chad was down there with Chad. Back in 1999 at the crib. Okay. Yeah, I th at Master Sound. Oh, at whatever crib they had in mm -hmm. VA. Yeah, you. T.I. records you burning know. around, burn, 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 with Beanie Man burning around, burn up. You was just, you was just, I understand, you was, was in the stand, you was in the stands watching. Yeah. See, <laughs> he was a fucking journeyman artist. Uh, what? He was an artist that just, he was a dude that came in the joint, get two fouls. You come in the game, get two fouls. Coach, like, go ahead, get back on the bench. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going that fucking. He keeps telling me about you. Ain't, you ain't yeah, jumping on him, man. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Body Armor. Million Dollars Worth of Game. And body armor. I mean, what's better than that? Real hydration, real ingredients, packed with electrolytes, vitamins, and nothing artificial. Not only do we hydrate with body armor, but some of the best athletes in the world do as well. I'm talking about Christian McCaffrey. I'm talking about uh, Joe Burrow, uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, C.D. Lamb, uh, and my nephew, Bryce Young, and many more. But of course, like, you know, you've seen Body Armor at Gilly Fest. You know what I'm saying? You've seen all the performers with the Body Armor, you know, getting hydrated, man. You know, with the alkaline water, with electrolytes dancing all in it. So, you know, it's good for late night recordings. It's great for workouts, etc. you know. Available in stores nationwide, so you can head over to Body Armor Store on Amazon and get yours today. Available in stores, but you can head over to Body Armor on Amazon right now and get yours. We talk about, they got all different flavors. I'm talking about Body Armor has the great tasting flavors like strawberry, banana, and blue raspberry. 
but my favorite is the water. So when you're out and about, get you some body armor. Right. You ain't never, yeah, you ain't never wanted, but, but, but the funny thing is, if you, if you listen to, if you listen to the Clips First album, oh, you all the, yeah, no, <laughs> that, that album was serious. First the Clips First album, the Clips First album, Pharrell, Pharrell went somewhere dirty. Yo. Pharrell went to the ghetto, and gutter with that shit. That, cl that clip's first album, he went to the, he went to all that shit he was doing for the clip, all that shit was just crazy. But like, you, you just did everything. You know what I mean? Do you ever feel like, how, how do you keep reinventing yourself? Man, we go, we about to shoot. No, I'm asking him that shit now. I'm wanna, I be, we getting it in right now. It's hot right now. I like that. What you mean? You don't turn it down when it's hot. <laughs> he stay like, yo, he right. So what keep me inspired now is newness. Like you say, like your Fuck daughter. People. Yeah, man. Yo, he seen me as soon as he seen me. We was at we was at YouTube uh avenues in Miami. He said, We're in LA. Where she at? We're in New York, LA. I said, She ain't here. Text, put on a joint. He was like, and what what I liked about it is that you immediately said, No, you that, you the shit. I need some music. Right here in the text on the phone. I need some music. Send me some shit now. I'm like, damn, I wanna be inspired. I'm like, damn, this thing talking about. I said, no, get in that shit, man. You know, because yeah. it's real. Because it's like that's what inspired. That's why I keep the youth. Because that you gotta understand, we'll be doing shit for decades and decades. And how you be new, it's fine and new. Don't want to take them chances with it because it's like nobody likes to build from the ground up and spend time. And that's what's missing with these artists. It's artist development, and there's no artist development. So people come and go, get hot for a season, or and then they out. We don't got no long. But, but do you artists. think? Do you think the lack of like me? I always said like me. I, I'm the type of boy that, and I'm not <coughs> seeing this in a bad way. If it was me, I fire like, and I always tell Kevin Lyles and all them. They be we be laughing. They be like, whenever you ready, while well, I'll be like, I go to these labels, and I fire like eighty five percent of the A and R because they chasing the A and R's now. They chasing sixty day music. Mm -hmm. That's it, mm -hmm. sixty day, and then it's flopping, and then the A and R's. A lot of these A and R's they piss me off because how you more popular than the artist that you represent? Because mm -hmm. you posting on fucking Instagram all day. Mm -hmm. Like you supposed to be an A and R to me is a motherfucker. That New Orleans, this dude hot. Come on, we gonna we gotta go find this shit out. I'm going down there, stay in the town for a week, talk to the people, get with him, go to the studio, get have my videographer with me, go interview the people, and go back to the label. Like, listen, this dude got a real story. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker passed. This dude rapping at the gas station. DMX, DMX would never make it in this day and time because they would never be able to discover DMX smoking that bad weed, huh? Oh. You was just choking, man. You smoking that oh, bad that's weed. Good. Yeah, you ain't choking, you ain't smoking. All right, say no more. You right. So, so think about this. They'll never find DMX right now. They'll never find Tupac right now. Because them ain't gonna be just that you can't find that passion on this. You might miss it because that dude with that passion might only have a hundred followers. That's what I go. Exactly. Sorry. Think about it. Like and you said, there ain't no. It's to the point now where though, if you're a producer or if you got a late, you gotta go on. You gotta go find them up yourself because because let me just say this i'm gonna be the one to say this today this episode of million dollars worth of game is brought to you by hello fresh whether you're trying to save money eat better or stress less hello fresh is here to help you do all three say hello to the most delicious year with fresh ingredients chef crafted recipes at a price you'll like deliver right to your door no more staring crazy at the fridge, wondering what you're going to make for dinner. Give HelloFresh a try into their biggest menu yet. Over 45 recipes to choose from each week. There's 45 recipes to choose from each week. Each HelloFresh box is packed with fresh farm ingredients and everything arrives pre-portioned right to your doorstep for less hassle and less food wasted. Ditch the bullshit meal planning. Blues, the grocery store runs with Quick, convenient recipes delivered right to you. Just choose meals and select your delivery date. HelloFresh handles the meal planning and shopping, so all you do is open your weekly box of fresh pre-portioned ingredients step-by-step -step recipes to get cooking. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? Well, HelloFresh agrees. In fact, they're giving all subscribers, all subscribers free breakfast for life. All subscribers is getting free breakfast for life. That means you enjoy a totally free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery. And you know what I love about HelloFresh? Tastes good, healthy, fresh. I mean, and it's not a waste of food. So go to HelloFresh.com slash dollars free and use the code dollars free 
for free breakfast for life. Man, we giving out free breakfast for life, man. One breakfast item per box with subscription with subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash dollars free. Code dollars free. Right. Instagram, all these Spotify, all these different joints, you can buy all that shit. A motherfucker go to Spotify right now to buy some monthly listeners. Mm -hmm. Right now. The only thing that I respect is, there's two things I respect. I respect three things. A feeling. It's a feeling. That, when you, that when you hear that shit, you say to yourself, I got to let everybody I know that I talk about music with all I respect, they got to hear this mother. You know, it's that in hard ticket sales. Hard ticket sales. That let me know that none of this shit you got going on is fake. You can buy all them numbers, you can buy the likes on the gram, all that shit could be illusion, and then you look under the hood, you like, you got a Honda motor. Exactly. Why this shit not connecting? Why this chick not connecting? You know why? Because it's fake. When you go to a motherfucking, when, when you, because when I say fan base, fan base gonna buy a ticket, they gonna buy some merch. They, they, they gonna buy a ticket, they gonna buy some merch. You go to a motherfucking YouTube studio, when you go to somebody's YouTube studio app, you be able to see all that money in there because people is really, Looking at this shit, you see that account in there. You see them real. That's the real numbers. All that other shit could be fake. So it's like at the end, you see the dashboard on the Distro Kid or the uh, United Masters. Oh, they really making money. This real. Mm -hmm. mm. Because because if I if I'm invested in you, you telling me you want this money, I got to be able to see how I'm gonna make my money back. Mm -hmm. I might not make my money back on the streams, but I know they coming to see your show and they buying your merch on Shopify. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh damn, this dude just did a million dollars in ninety days, mixed with the tickets in. It. In the, in the merch? Oh, oh no, I'm, mm -mm. we he got some. He got some. I can give him some money because I can make my investment back because you got to make money. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? In, in, we live in a time now, Timbo, where it's like this. The hype man don't know how to be a hype man no more. Mm -mm. The assistant don't know how to be the assistant no more. Mm -mm. Motherfucker go from being running around a homie, now he battling against a homie and he taking away the fan base from the community because now you splitting it. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Philly where it was only six rappers at the time when I was when me and Gil started. It was like six. Talk, me and Listen, me and I had to rap. talk. I said, "Come on, man." Why, I ain't a rapper, man. Yeah, he thought he was a fake tough guy. Somebody was ready to knock him off, smoke him, cool. had him in a wheelchair somewhere. I started saying this like, "Of being a penitentiary." He'd, he'd have been in a penitentiary watching somebody draw. So I said, <laughs> <laughs> "You know what I'm saying? Hey, get in the booth." You see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna front. I was running around here. I like. He like. He like. What were you doing? Yo, do that. Get the in the booth. I had to shoot ninety, man. I mean, this is my little cousin. Listen, you I believe that dumb shit? But we need that. Listen, listen, listen I you think he should die to me? Oh, I told a nigga. Listen, Tim. You say should die to me? I told a nigga. I said, listen. I said you're fucking hot. Come on, we going to my man's studio. Man, I ain't going to the studio. Took him in there. He seen the reaction. I said, listen. All you got to do, and see, this was the thing. All you got to do is rap, cause he rapped. I went down to Strawberries. I don't know if you probably remember. They had Strawberries. They had Tile Records. They had the different stores. Tile Records. Tile Records, right. Strawberry. But they had different joints. I went there and stole a bunch of Blake tapes. This one they had. This one they had yeah, these. That's what he was really This one they had these. Stealing. This one they had these. You don't know about that, Loki. This one they had these. See this right here? Yeah, Tape. I don't know. This is my phone. This one they had. I took. Went right to the crib. Burned them all down. I said, cuz, you hot. I said, watch this. And I, everybody that had. A, a system, drug dealers, I would give them the tapes, all the boys I knew, here man, here man, they had the systems, they BMs, all the cars, Lexus here. He was like, yo, this joint popping. I'm like, cuz, so one day we stand there, three cars were, I said, didn't I tell you? I went down to Poppy Land, Badland in Philly where all the Puerto Ricans at with the loudest car systems, and I would just give them the tapes. I was like, they were like, yo, that joint hitting. And, and, and I was, and he knew that, he was like, damn. See, I didn't have a problem being, like, we both rapped, but I ain't had a problem being like, listen. I was hollering. No, it didn't, it didn't. But see, listen. And I ain't even rap. But see, listen. I was a, I was always this boy. I was always this boy. I didn't give a f who, who was hotter. I gave a f that we gonna win. Facts. Mm. Facts. Tim, Tim, Tim. Listen, Tim. Facts. Tim, you make a lot of money. They make a lot. Rather it's you or rather it's them. If they, if we need something to make this shit right, would you need some blunt? I'm gonna go to the store and get him some blunts and some 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 Facts. Uh, uh, pineapple soda. Facts. I'm never too good to win. I'm never too big to win. And I drive Lamborghinis and w w do whatever I want to do. Got a bunch, but that don't mean nothing. What is that? What is we here to do? Is we here to win or is we here to look like we winning on Instagram and think we too bigger in the process? I'm not. Talking I'm never shit. gonna do that. This my, what, this my big cousin, but if he say, wow, you did some nut shit, all right, cool. I'm standing boy, down. Perfect. If I say, damn, you did some nut perfect. shit, he gonna stand down. Mm -hmm. If, if he needs some motherfucking blunt raps, I'm going to go get him. It ain't got, it ain't no ego. I'm not, 
I'm not tripping over nothing. Back in the day, he used to always hold my condoms for me. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, hold my condoms, man. Just in case, man. Go get my condoms, do this, do that, third. Back in the day, you was my bitch warmer. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, used to, I used to get a bitch. No, I told my little cousin in warm up. Go we'll suck some titties or something. Get no, that was my thing back in the day. You know what I mean? I smoked some titties. You wasn't suck a titties. I used to listen. No, no, no. All right, no, get no, your young ass out of here. He called me. He called me coming to join. I was sucking his girl titties, so he'd been lying ever since. That was my thing back in the day. No, no disrespect to you, sister. But that was my thing. She's more gangster than all of us. But that, sure that, 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 was, that was my thing. You know what I mean? So he Line. But the whole thing, Tim, is Think like, about that. Was this thing he only wanted to suck some titties? No, I just wanted to warm the situation up. <laughs> you can't just go in the house and you know me kick the door down. They got it. We had it. You got to announce yourself. That's my, that's my announcement. Yeah. Warm them titties up. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is, now we living in a time where it's though the, the manager want to be the rapper. Everybody want to be the rapper. And it's like, I don't want to tell you, but the rapper can't even fucking rap these days. Talk your He's shit. corny. He's corny. <laughs> Like, no, 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 that's the problem. And now we got this joint where though, you can't even, we live in this world where hip hop is so p right now, I'm pissed at hip hop because everything that hip hop still for, everybody to sacrifice their life, die for this shit, whatever, we went out like pussies. You can't even say, no, you ain't corny. You say, I don't like something, you the bad guy now. You hating on me. Everybody is emotional roller coaster now. Emotional roller, they call Thomas. I'm emotional. All this dumb shit. That was because shit in jail. You was emotional in jail. I was, man. When I found out that girl was with, yeah, it was different. Uh, I called home and found out what was going on. But think about it though. I, if, if, if a motherfucker say, "No, nah, it ain't hard enough. You ain't had a, the high hat or whatever was in it." What? Oh man, he ain't know me, man. He picking on me. I'm getting bullied. <laughs> That's true. Yo, everybody's a, a fucking bitch ass victim out here now. You can't say nothing. But you. That's why the rap game. You know why? This is the, the number one reason the rap game f***ed up. And I'm talking to all the big artists. Look, bring that camera right here. Look at me. Mm. All you big f***ing artists. What you got to read? Can I unplug this? Go ahead. Let me tell you something. All you big f***ing artists, stop being f***. I'm talking to all the big artists out oh, there. Talk. You know why the rap game f***ed up? Talk. Number one, y'all got too many f***ing yes men around y'all not telling y'all, yo, them drugs, you're doing a little too much with them Can drugs. Oh, 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 I got this. And not telling them, yo, that song was corny, man. That sound like the last song. And guess what? Number three is. Y'all hardest movie is on them hard drives y'all been having for years, but y'all scared to release it because y'all don't think it's going to align with the sound of this TikTok and all this other shit that's going on. Mm -hmm. Y'all hardest music is on them hard drives. Mm -hmm. Y'all so and y'all scared. Mm -hmm. Y'all mm -hmm. scared Talk because guess what? Mm -hmm. You don't even, you, you're not even a mother. You don't have the heart that you had when you first came out and you was popping it and you didn't care. You just put the music out. All y'all best shit is on them hard drives. The orange ones, not this one. Mm -hmm. The orange ones. The good shit is on. When I go in the studio, I listen, I'll be like, play the shit on the hard drive. This is the hardest shit. Oh man, I don't, y'all scared. I don't know if TikTok gonna like it. I don't know if it's gonna catch. I don't, nigga. Them days is over with. The hardest shit when you, when you didn't give a talk, talk. and you was just making the music, is right here. You ain't got it no more. To just do it. And then some of y'all scared to get writers. I used to write for Gil. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Like a lot, I wrote for Kiss and all. Oh, chill, man. I wrote for a lot of people. That's my story. The young boys don't know if I'm lying. The bottom line is a lot of you are scared to fail. <sighs> F wrong with you. So you trying to chase some shit. You ain't, instead of being yourself, you trying to chase something. You trying to chase a sound. You trying to chase something that's going to catch. You trying to, how about being yourself? Mm. That worked the first time. Yeah, I'm going to say it like this. If first you don't succeed, mm. dust yourself off and try again. Thank you. Shit. Think about Thank that. you. You ain't going to oh, find, you you find some... one with an asshole full of money who didn't fail. No, but listen, Tim, you ever had something that you wasn't feeling and you was like, damn, man, that ain't go? everything and I go back and dust myself off and try again. I was taught by a woman, Missy Elliott. Oh. She pushed the greatness out of me because I was that guy. Like, sit, man, I she, I go through a hundred beats. And back then we had computers, so it was on the file. So I'm like, dang, I gotta cut my computer off. But she'd be like, I ain't feeling that. That ain't hard enough, Tim. So she, she put in me what greatness was because I would kind of settle and stuff and so i'm like oh man this it's it's your craft but you still gotta work at this shit so i ain't never really like and then i just i work with people who understood that and then i got into this new age of stuff niggas be you can't tell, like you said you can't tell them nothing they don't want to they don't they don't they don't understand that it could be harder it could be better no but this what they this what they think they got one hit that everybody playing right now and timbo oh no timbo got ten thousand. 10,000, 10 million, I don't know whatever number, I, fucking plaques, you done it. Like like history always win. 
But they'll say, man, Tim washed up, man. I'm the shit. I got two songs playing right now. Them little punk ass two songs. The gas, the the, the, the gas that Timberland played for them foreigns, make more like he spent more money on them than you making off them two little songs, my man. Come on, man, with your little punk ass Rolex, man, that you bought from motherfucking these jury stores with all them bullshit diamonds in them. Stop yeah. playing. Don't disrespect no legends, man. Cause you got three beats under your fucking belt. You still wet behind your ears. Respect the legends, man. And respect the coaches. And you need to be sliding up because I'm telling you, I don't give a who you is in the game. You're doing some beats. If you if you got something going on, you can call Tim and slide up on him. You know what I'm saying? That's what they need to do. I mean, you know what hey, I mean? man. I've been trying to tell them, but a lot of people don't want to be builders. They want to come in the houses without yeah. inspection. Talk like <laughs> so the shit, when they get into it, they're yeah. like, damn, this shit got a mold in it. Of course. You, you, you wanted to cheat. Ain't no cheat code. <laughs> when you love it, you love it. You're going to go through the process. A lot of people don't love this shit. It's a gimmick for these niggas. Mm -hmm. They got to love it. I love this shit. So I love finding new. We going to pop, and when it do pop, that'd be like, I told you so. Well, we going to make a beat today. We gonna you do you, you need me to help you? Because I used to make beats. Yeah. Out no, my celly had this, this piano when we was in the joint. He used to make beats on that joint. Mm, it was yeah, a joint that cost like three fifty. Yeah, yeah, so so commissary. He made the oh, beats. That's right. That's right. They remixed. Because he had the joints up here. I forgot he did. He they did. Sold they remixed "I Married a Woman" by uh, Whitney Houston. They sold uh, keyboards. Him and his celly oh, remixed "I Married a Woman." On. I might gonna add some shit to this joint. Put some sauce on it. I just need ten percent. That's all. Got it. <laughs> well, you get ten. I get about ten. About he did one beat in jail. Him and his celly remixed "I Married a Woman." Whitney Houston. We ain't do that. I'm that was a good cut. Woman, that, was a, that was a hell of a cut, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. We need one prison talent ever. show three years in a row with that. Whitney was a bad motherfucker. For real? Prison talent show. You're lying. I was going to say, what? First of all, he said prison talent show. I was going to say, wait a minute, they had a talent show? No, no, no. They got him. For real? Yeah. They got him. I helped score him. He won three years in a row. He lying. I never participated. I was organizing. No, I ain't going to front. I spit a couple raps in the It wasn't like. So, what was the prize? Uh, it was just like uh, uh, for rep, just to say I, I, I killed that John. And some uh, people will bet a couple bags of commissary on the side. My man going, he make better beat. Oh, he tough. can rap better than him. You times I went in a couple Jones, it didn't turn out right, but it didn't matter. I just participated, you know, just for ain't hey. shit else to do. You know what yeah, I mean? what else? You could cook you. You never told me that. No, man, dude, I I just went freestyle. I was I wasn't. Don't lie. Your nigga cooked you. Just say it. No, I got. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> he, he, he he ain't cooked me. It was he, it was more like bake. It wasn't a deep fry situation <laughs> or barbecue. He just baked me, bro. Oh, all right. you know I mean, some boy from Pittsburgh. Some boy from Pittsburgh. Cause you know why? Them dudes from Pittsburgh. When I was in jail, they used to rap. They be banging on tables. That shit finesse me. Doing all them. They was they was more creative. Cause they had a mixed genre of music. They was listening to in Pittsburgh from Philly. You gotta understand the East Coast, New York, Philly. We was stuck in a certain rap sound, and we was real biased against motherfuckers. So we didn't have that Midwest ear sometimes. Mm -hmm. We didn't have that do or die top authority type of uh, ear dating family. Uh, we didn't have that type of bone thugs. Some of we had, like this told me that Master P was corny. I played Master P in '95 in the studio. I said this right here, he the shit. Look at the Rap Page magazine. Listen, we got to get like these. He played it. As soon as Master P said, uh, -huh, tell me the sound like you taking the shit. I did. I had to grow on to that shit. We talk about '95, man. I was I was on. That's why I'm I listening to motherfucking Biggie, black and ugly. Oh, however, yeah, 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 yeah. however, you know what? I it stay was. coochie down to the yeah. socks. Rings and watch filled with rocks. And my jam knocks in you your know Mitsubishi. What's... And then he put on niggas saying, Ugh! You know what's so crazy? Said, oh, man, it sound like you gotta take a shit. That was wild because it's up like you you remind me of Jay when Jay kind of played the UGK. Said, like That's what I'm saying. Shit, like UG, like he was from New York. New York, they understand they, that. No, they listen. New York, they listen, listen, I know. Cause, <laughs> but listen, this why we this why the East Coast laws they didn't have a, a, a ear. They didn't have a, 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 a open ear to hear other shit. So by the time the sound cut on, people were still sucking the sound that didn't that that wasn't relatable no more, digestible globally. Because once the South came and, and they brung the different shit, people was like, oh, that's the shit. Whereas though you had people in the East trying to emulate the people in the South. Because they didn't think about it. Because we were so locked in on the East, like, man, we done. Everybody got to come through us. Motherfuckers are saying, I ain't got to go to New York to get popping. I, I can perform in Arkansas, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I can stay the fuck down here make millions of dollars. I got to go up there. I don't need y'all approval no more. And that's where the game got fucked up. And New York dudes start trying to sound like motherfuckers from down South. And they lost the identity, but nobody talks about that. And it the game up. See, Tim, too, right? This is 95. By the time 98, 99 come, I'm with Master P. 
because now I understand it. That's mm -hmm. why I was a visionary. You feel what I'm saying? You what, dog? You grew up a rapper. I didn't grow did up you like, a rapper. Did you like did you like UGK? I did. I know you did from I a got a pocket full of stuff. I've been on the Cause, back. Cause I remember when when Jay when we did Big Pippin, and people people was like, man, UGK. Yeah. He said, trust me, the is just popping. I know like New York was different back then. When he put him up there, I was like, whoa. He said, I told y'all. Hey, he, listen, he was riding around. Listen, it was a documentary he had riding through Marcy and Alexis, and he was banging UGK. He was listening to UGK. It was a sound, you know what I mean? UGK, he was on, he was down there with uh before he even got with an eight bar MJG. I'm talking about uh, 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 that whole Suave House, Tila. Suave yeah. House, shout out to Tony Draper. They had a crazy sound, Devin the Do. It was a bunch of different sounds down there. Do it, die, do you, all them Man, boys. Man, they had so juvenile, many sounds. So do you, it, 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 it did like, Twisted, you, it was a bunch of different people, man. Gangsta Boo, rest in peace, <coughs> Gangsta Boo, baby. Rest in peace, baby. It was a different sounds. Uh, uh, you remember Endo G? Mm -hmm. If I die, mama, don't you cry. Just remember oh, me, balling. It's, it's about music. A lot of these dudes. Oh, he grew up really rapping. He grew up in the culture. I didn't grow up rapping. He grew up trying to be a fake ass basketball player. No, That's why he went to the league. You went to college. You went to college. Nobody know about. You didn't go to Notre Dame. You didn't go to Penn State. I went to legendary Benjamin Franklin High. That was as far as you went. That was that was your highlight. You had a highlight reel in high school. Nobody he do nothing. He ain't gonna do that. I never seen videos and shit growing up. I seen all that shit. Feel what I'm saying? I didn't I know when E4 was in the game. I didn't never see videos growing up, so I wasn't even into that. I, I just wrote a rap one day, just fucking around. And I signed you after that. Was amazing. Man. I became was your manager. There, he knew. I became his manager. Did you know it though? Did you know it? Or no, you he know didn't know it. He didn't know it. Listen, listen. I was always the fly shit talking. So all my raps was just talking. I look at us and look at y'all. We're poor sight and below a night. Limited the cause like that ain't what the more like. man died today, man. My sh was just talking. Uh, so for me, it was easy. When every line I spit with that rap, every was like, I told you damn. What good. Then they'd be like, rap something else. I'm like, oh no, I ain't got no other raps. Like, I don't rap. Damn. Man. Like when when we went to the studio, I didn't even know if I could write another rap. Damn. Think about that. I didn't even know if I could write another rap. Like, this like, come on, cuz we gonna go to the studio and, That's deep. and I'm gonna do the hook, you gonna rap. I don't even remember the rap, but he do. No, yo, Apollo Creed died today, man. Damn. He's a legend. For real? Yeah, he died today, dude. Carl Weathers. I just seen him online. Damn. But but it's like it's just like man, I just believe that um with music you gotta have a real ear if you wanna if you want longevity. Mm -hmm. If you got a local ear, if you got a tri-state ear, you're done. A cool. regional ear, you're done. Your ear if your ear regional, you're done because it, I'll be looking at people now from certain regions, they be doing music that's not gonna make it outside the region. I believe you got a neighborhood song, you got a, a, a city song, you got a regional song. And if you can make it out that region, a lot of people can't make it out of the region. You might be from that area, New York, Philly, Delaware, but some people might get stuck there. You can still make a lot of money, but you might can't go over to Ohio. You might can't make it hit Pittsburgh. You might, I told Cosmic Kev, I called, you know Cosmic Kev, mm -hmm. Philly. I told Cosmic Kev, I'm in the prison. I'm on the phone. I said, Kev, I got get. I said, call Kev, Gil. He said, all right, man. I said, call Kev. <coughs> I said, Kev, this is his name, Wiz Khalifa, man. I had his tape, man. I said, go get him. He said, what you mean? I said, he the hottest in Pennsylvania right now. He said, what you, I said, this dude's doing, he, I'm telling you, he got college kids going crazy. He got a crazy sound. He got a tape out. This dude, man, I don't know nothing about him. Did he, didn't you say yeah, that dumb yeah. shit? Kev, you's a nut ass that I told you about that. He, three months later, he had him on the come up show. I said, I told you. Because I'm, I'm going off of, even back then, I'm going off a of real human. I'm going off a of human response. Not off your homies. Your homies don't count. Mm -mm. Oh, my, my man hot. Get the out of here. Your man trash, man. Your man yep. ain't better than him over there. Mm -hmm. Out of here. Like, and that's why a lot of dudes can't go from their cities because you got 15,000 motherfuckers rapping and out of the 15,000, 1,400, I mean, uh, 14,990 is fucking trash. Facts. But you can't say that because if you say that, you hating, oh, my feelings are hurt, I'm a victim. No, you wasn't meant to rap. You was meant to be a trash man. And that's the difference between our era and this era. Mm. If one of our homies tried to get in the booth, it, that shit would have been a joke. We'd have been out here laughing on I the told floor. You that. Man, get the f 
Totally. Yeah, I said, man, we don't. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game Business Spotlight, where yes. we give you the news you can use. I'm talking about that information. That information you can utilize to get up off that couch, get up out of that middle room, you know what I mean, that basement, when you view a basement warrior, or if you're just somebody out there that's not doing anything with yourself, you're on social media every day gossiping, worrying about somebody else's life outside of yours, and you're not doing nothing. Today we got Lois here. What she's going to do, I'm talking about she got the highest paid nurse. I'm talking about, I'm talking about it's going down. She's not even playing. She's going to give you a free ebook. All you have to do is go to highestpaidnurse.com. She's going to give you a free ebook, 100K in 90 Days Nurse Blueprint. Now, I know that sounds crazy. You're saying that, huh, huh, how could you make 100K in 90 days? Because you hear all this stuff on social media. Mm -hmm. Just in the third. First of all, I like to, you know, just thank you for being here, Lois. And I want you to give them the game that you just gave us of how somebody can make 100K in 90 days. And they're going to learn this from the nurse blueprint once they go to highestpaidnurse.com and they're going to get it for free. How do they do that? Absolutely. Thank you for having me, y'all. So what's up, y'all? My name is Nurse Lois. And I'm going to show anybody, it doesn't matter if you're a nurse, you're a burnt out nurse, you don't want nothing to do with nursing. I'm going to show you how to get 100K in 90 days. There's something called strike nursing. So a lot of people think that if they want to get money as a nurse, they got to do crisis contracts. They got to go do COVID. But COVID's out, so like now what? So I teach nurses how to get into something called strike nursing to where whenever there's a strike, you know, the hospital or whatever, they got an issue with the nurses. Them nurses are outside. They protesting. And so we go in and we run up 10K a week, 8K a week. So if you line those up for 90 days, you can come up on 100K. Now, you might be watching this. You're not a nurse. You don't, you don't care nothing about that. So there's a lot of nurses that I got to find that are burnt out. They did the travel nursing thing. They did the COVID. They over it. And so I teach nurses and people in general how to get into passive income, digital products, entrepreneurship, start your business. So, you know, it's, it's not just for, for nurses. But hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we, we got to get this right. Because people, right. people don't understand this. The word nurse is not just for women. I think we put that on women. Nurses, men, and women. It's a lot of male nurses. Okay. And Killing they, it, too. There's a male nurse in jail. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I actually wasn't. I did work in the hospital the, know, one time know. in a joint. I don't know. But but what I'm saying is people get that mixed understanding. They only think about women when there's a lot of guys out there that's nurses. And Absolutely. Be making, that's a part of these that be doing them strikes and all that stuff. Absolutely. It's, nursing is it's such a broad career. It's men. It's women. Um, and I feel like now more than ever, there's such a need for nurses, right? In the hospital, everything is short staffed. So that's where really these strikes come about. Right now, everyone's on strike, right? They complain about the pay. They complain about the ratios. It's not even nurses. Like, I feel like UPS, everybody on strike. And so I think we're in a day in time where everyone's trying to figure out what's next for me. What, what can I add, right? And that was me. I've been a nurse five years. I did the travel nursing thing. And it's like, I want to pivot. I want to pivot. And so once I pivoted successfully, now I help other people pivot. So you a nurse, you done with that. You're not a nurse. You just need something else. I teach people how to get into passive income. Now, inside of this ebook, 100K in 90 days, what all are you, what type of game are you giving Man, up? Man, it's the full blueprint. Like somebody can really read this book, run with the plays and go get the 100K. You don't got to, you don't got to say nothing to me. So um, everything is broken down from travel nursing, strike nursing, passive income, digital products. It don't matter, y'all. We are in the easiest time to make money. People don't mm -hmm. realize it with this internet. There's so many ways to get to the bag. So that ebook is really just a simplified step-by-step -step framework. Three steps, they get that 100K easy. So, so, but this after this after you went to school and all that type of stuff? Absolutely. So I went to school. So the, the normal education for a nurse is four years. And people don't even know you could do nursing in three years, right? You could go to a state college, community college. The most important thing is you pass NCLEX. So I got done with that. NCLEX, what's that? That's that's our board. It's like, it's like the bar for nursing. Okay. Yeah, so all, all that matters for nurses and hospitals is that you pass the board. So you could do in four years if you want to do the university route. You could do in three years. I did mine in three years. So at 22, I was already travel nursing. At 22 years old, I was making 5K a week, 6K a week, 10K a week. I've been there, done that. And the, the the problem with people is like they think, all right, you make 200K in a year, you make 100K in a year, you're going to be happy. I've made all that. And I wasn't fulfilled. But now it's like, well, I just, I just crossed 500K this year, mm -hmm. not in nursing. And so it's crazy that there's so much out here. There's so many passive income streams. You can get to the back from your couch, how we on the couch, mm -hmm. from your bed. Right. And I'm not saying don't be a nurse, but do something else. So in that ebook, I break it down and it's a lot of information. I know so y'all watch this it, going over your head. So mm -hmm. I teach a free class where I'm going to break it down step by step. I don't want you lost. There's nobody 
who's gonna be lost leaving the class. So really making it simple, right? Every everybody on Instagram talking about this, talking about that. They're not breaking, they're not making it simple. So the class is really so you get the ebook, you read it, you wanna come to class so I could break it down for you. That's what I'm talking about now. How how is the class though? So, so they, is the class for free? How is you doing the class? Absolutely free. Is Absolutely. That, oh, so so they get the free ebook and they get the free class. All they gotta do is go to highestpaidnurse.com. That's it. And just get the book, sign up. And how often you do the free classes? Every week. Every, every week. Every week you're doing a free class. You can't miss it. So I could just, so you basically, hold up, yo, yo, I'm, let me get this right. You're basically telling me that I could get all this information. I go get the, you know, the 100K 90 Days Nurse Blueprint. I could go to your page, get a free course, get all that information, go on your page, your IG, get all the information for free and don't even pay you a dime. Nothing. I keep moving. I have so many mentees. They come to my class every week. I'm like, you back again? They, they run into plays, right? Mm -hmm. I have nurses, people who just came on a free class. Now they're doing a strike. I have a nurse. Her name is Diana. She's one of my mentees, superstars. She's been on a strike for 10 weeks straight. That's 8K a week for 10 weeks, right? And then there's people that come on the class. They don't, they don't care nothing about that. They're trying to start their business. They're trying to get into these passive income streams. So they come in repeatedly. It's that type of class where, like, we actually give a game out. We give a million dollars worth of game That's on That's what there. I'm talking about. Yeah. Right? That's what I'm talking about. So, so, so how long have you been in the industry? I've been a nurse for five years. Entrepreneurship, we, we close to two years. Damn, and you just jumped in like that. You're not playing. I'm not playing. That's that's crazy. Now, now when I go here, right, when I go to your website, right, and then I get in this free course, right, because, you know, a lot of people say they got a course, they got this. What is all being given to me in this free course? And how long is the course? Like, how long? I mean, a couple hours. Like, what is that? Yeah, so the course is about, like, an hour and some change. You know, most people, most nurses are, are busy. And I like I like what you said, Wallow, because everybody is on social media. Yeah, I'm trying to, yeah, you know. They got a core. Everybody got an ebook, and so I'm just making it simple for the people, right? Because everybody got courses and stuff, but they're not breaking it down. You can't really run plays off of the ebook. You can't really go to a class and run the play. My 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 class, my course, my ebook is set up to where you could literally read the book. You could come to class, and you could go run the play. So I'm just making it simple for people. That's what I'm talking about now. Now. Right here with this hundred K, right? Uh, there's some stuff you said I was gonna try to bust this move, but uh, I don't got my nurse uh, paperwork. <laughs> I know I was working. You in your, your, you prison, your prison stuff. That, that didn't count. I was just working count. in the jail, walking around, just cleaning up oh. and sweeping the shit. Like, Man, God, I forgot they suspended it. you. They kept saying you kept saying. I, I mean, I didn't. I didn't even. So, so my thing is Everybody like kept I can't coming even, in with glute problems. Man, get out of here! Fuck out of here! You nut. I couldn't. So I couldn't even. What's the name? So I'm like, damn. But. The travel nurse, and the reason you say that, I got a homeboy, man, who uh, mm -hmm. wife a travel nurse, and let she me tell you, breaking it up. Mm -hmm. I remember, I remember that COVID shit, and she was all over the country destroying them. They just kept moving. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hold up, you mean to tell me they paying for where y'all live at? And she getting that much oh, a you day? Know the game. You know yeah, the yeah, game. oh yeah. I didn't listen. The travel nurse game is legendary, but outside of the COVID and all that, it's still travel nurses. Yeah. But I didn't know. I'm telling. I'm like, hold up. You mean to tell me that them people was paying for that spot? That spot y'all in in Seattle? That nice ass crib? Yeah. And they and they they give money for what? They give you money for everything. Everything. But see, the problem with that though is like. You're going to make the money, but you're going to be tired. A lot of nurses, what we're looking at right now is people are burnt out all across the country, right? They're getting 4 k a week, but they are tired. And so I want to help people normalize passive income to where you don't got to be, you know, working 60 hours. You turn a patient who can't move, who can't talk. They 500 pounds. Like you making money, but your, your back is hurting. And a lot of people, like a lot of people are so tired. And so you could, you could do the nurse thing. I'm not here to say stop being a nurse. You could do the nurse thing, right? I'm teaching nurses how to go PRN. That means you work once a week. You work What's once PRN? a week. What's PRN? It's, it's an as-needed nurse. So it's like usually they only require four to six shifts a month. So you work, you could work once a week as a nurse. You love it. Cool. What type of money they get? They get money. They're like 100 an hour, 110 an hour, depending on the agency. God damn. And people don't even know they are a PRN agency. So nurses think, oh, you got to be a full-time nurse. You got to be part-time. You could be PRN with agencies in your own city. Not everybody wants to go to Atlanta. Nobody, everybody wants to go to New York. So right there in your city, you could work PRN, make $100 an hour, right? And on the side, you have something else that's generating you income. So you don't have to break your back, be away from family. See, when I was on the road for two years, COVID, it's, it's a lot of tragedy that goes around with it. We, we get into the back, but it's a lot of nurses with PTSD. 
And so if we can normalize you having your time, being home with your family. So that's really like the purpose of the free class, the ebook, just helping people in general know that, you know, you got other options. You now, got other options. Now on the digital side, what, what game is you giving out on the digital Man. side products and all that? What game? Give me some I'm, of the game. I might, I might have to chill on the game. Yeah. So I help people start their business and make it profitable. See, everybody running around talking about LLC, LLC. I ain't doing nothing with the LLC. Y'all making $2. And so I teach people how to start profitable like business. I was like that. Start a profitable business. Like, is there a need for what you have, right? So many people got so many ideas, but we gotta we gotta package that up. And so, really, you know, starting a business, making sure it's profitable, getting these digital products out, marketing in person, not just on social media. See, everybody think you gotta be on yeah, Instagram. Social, yeah. You gotta go out. You gotta network. And so, really making business simple. Anybody can run up a business. So, making it simple because a lot of nurses, a lot of people in the healthcare field in general. All they know is the books and all that. So I really got to break it down to make it simple for so, them. So you you ran into, you was running around all all week, every month, running city to city, city, city you to said, city. I need something else. I was getting, you was getting that money, but you right. was like, I need something else. It's it's a need for everybody. I don't care if you're already doing six figures, you're doing seven figures. Everybody needs to have something because here's the thing about, even with these strikes that are going on, a hospital could just wake up and say, you know, we have too much staff. We don't need you right now. Or they can cut your rate. They can cancel your, your shift. And so you never want to be in a position where if they cancel you, you, you out of money. And so everybody, like everybody needs a passive income stream. I don't care what you're doing. You need to do something else. So, on the side. so, so no matter what you're doing, listen, what you need to do, if you're trying to start something, you're trying mm -hmm. to get something going, you're trying to move something, what you need to do, you need to go to highestpaidnurse.com. It's not just a nurse game. It's about game, about starting, setting up digital products, starting your business. You know, um, Lloyd's going to help you basically give you the game, man. You also need to check out at Nurse Lloyd's Official on Instagram. Follow her. Check her out. Steal some game from off her page. She got a bunch of free information. <laughs> she yeah. giving it out. You know what I mean? Like, I keep telling people, everybody that come up here, you don't have to give them a dime. You don't have to pay for nothing, of course. But you could just go there, get the free information, and you could dip. All right, I'll see you later. All right, bet. <laughs> go in there, get in the course, ask some questions, get the information, do whatever you need to do. It's not always about getting the paper. It's about getting the information. Information is the money. Once you get that information, you can put your own play together, do whatever you want to do. But check her out right there on highest paid nurse.com you see it on the screen listen you see it right there on the screen man and also follow her man is there anything you want to say you want to lead the people with any any final mm. thoughts you want to lead the people with Lois? one thing i'll say is anybody who's watching this whatever you want to do just start that's the biggest thing we let overthinking get to us we let fear doubt maybe you're just stable you already making the the six figures you're not you're not worried about it and so really just start that idea that you got that podcast you want to start Right. If you would have told me a year ago, I'll be sitting next to Wallow and Gilly. That's crazy. Right. Just start. Yeah, ex baby. Yeah, we here. We here. Talk so to me. Start, execute, execute, get it done. It's too much money out here. I got to get to it. Stop playing games, man. Get out there. Get your money. Stop playing. Make it happen. Give a nurse Lois. Right. And she going to put you on game. She's just not a you know nurse. She also giving that game on how to set you up, man. Oh, I like that. I like that, man. Yeah, but we outside. Check out that. <laughs> yes, he is. Check out the highest paid nurse dot com, man. I like that. That's that's Brent Fire's New York, LA, and ASAP Rocky new song. We outside all night long. We outside all night long. Summer signs and the stars. It's going down. I need some insight to your heart. Go. I've been outside tonight. Okay. Yeah, he used to sing on corners for a uh, change downtown back then. <laughs> yeah, He's cool. a hell of a singer. But listen, man, this was another episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game Been in the Spotlight. Listen, man, go in there, get the game, man. I told you, highest paid nurse. Go in there, get the free ebook, get in the free course, get all the game you want. Listen, Lois is going to give you some game. Million Dollars Worth of Game Been in the Spotlight. Like that. Right. You got to understand, a lot of times I'd have been in the studio with the young right? And it'd be a young who he don't even rap, he not even interested in rapping. And then after about four months go by, they encourage him to rap. Like, man, f did you hear you might as well. He in the booth selling dumb as shit. They out there talking about, no, that's cool. And you like, man, I'm out of this motherfucker, man. You this is crazy, man. Yeah, that's what the era we come from. Y'all yeah, gonna tell that nigga that's cool, man? And then my whole thing is like this. I don't want to hear that bullshit, all that motherfucker. Oh, no, they're back in the... You can't tell me about back in the day, or whatever, because you ain't got the you ain't got the plaques, on, you, you ain't got the numbers on the board. You ain't got no you ain't got no jerseys in the rafter. After you get jerseys in the rafter, then you can say something about what it was and what it ain't. But you ain't never do nothing. Right. You ain't show me no certificates, no diamond certificates, or no platinum certificates, or none of that. Shit. And another thing, we're talking about when whatever Timbo did, when he did whatever he did, or any of these dudes did what they did. I had to get up out of my crib, get on the bus, 
go to the Tower Records on the Mama Pop, and I had to buy it. Mm -hmm. Not sit on the phone and say, download, download, down. <laughs> I had to buy it. I had to get it. So you had millions of people getting out of their getting out of their house, driving or walking to the mall. Damn, the tapes come out today. Let's walk Tuesday. Come out today. Let me go. Right, go let me get that Tuesday. Friday. Let me go get that. Oh, let me buy. Man, let me get one or two. It was different. Mm -hmm. That's why they, it was a different thing. So now, you know, so a lot of times, and you can't measure. They got all these streaming forums. I don't know who shit is real or not. I just go off the human response. Mm -hmm. If I go to your show, and I can stand back and say, oh no, this is real shit right here. This is real. You got all type of nationalities in here. They feeling they know a word. This is a real fan base. I don't give a fuck about no IG numbers, no Spotify, Spotify, none of that shit because it don't match up. Right. Mm -hmm. no. Shout out to the, shout out to because you know I love the, I love the up and coming artists. Shout out to all the up and coming artists who I be at the arenas and I see y'all rocking arenas. I see the human yeah. response. Right. Yeah. The dirt, the ESTGs, mm -hmm. the motherfucking Meeks, the fucking, the baby. One dude I'm gonna say. Now, who coming There's gonna be a gang of and 21 Savage, out, Drake. I, I done all witnessed this shit. I want you to talk Where about it. They done hit the stage and that shit been pandemonium. Man. I'm talking about motherfuckers, damn near falling out the raptors up that motherfucker. You feel me? And it's crazy because I just seen a list and it said the top rappers that fell off and they had motherfuckers on there and I'm like, you, you, you showed me that shit. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I just was on stage with these. Yeah, yeah, this shit was crazy. D it was. Damn, they falling off the top of the Raptors. Who the fuck made this list up? Because a motherfucker that's falling off, it ain't no niggas falling off the Raptors for you, man. Mm -hmm. It's facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. So for me, it just be like, you can't get caught up. This could be a this could be a goofball at home that just put a list together and then the right people picked it up and now the shit viral. That's just his opinion. But some of these rappers get caught up and man, you see that list, they man, fuck that list they put out. That put that list that ain't got one tenth of the shit you niggas got. Mm -mm. And, and, and you gotta understand this: one artist that I want you to check out, who who, who got I, real live ticket sales lighting shit up, that's doing his thing. His name Bees from Detroit. Mm -hmm. You heard his song before. This is not a fire drill. This is a real thing. thing. You heard his shit, man. What's his name? His name Bees. Yes. He on Bees. tour right now with Travis Scott and them. Yes. This, this is, is not a fire drill. Animal. This is the real thing. Yeah, he, he doing real. I'm talking about real dates. Yes. Like real date. Like I talk them, we talk eight damn. So he buy, he buy, he just, he just solo, just doing his shit. Yeah, real dates, real dates. Got his own label and all that. Look, real dates. Look how, look the type of Jones you get, just showing the dates. You heard this? Nigga. He got real dates. Like this. Seen, I seen that. Like this, this, this is a beast. He got real f dates. It's a lot of young. Like, I'm talking. Look at this. Dead. All real dates. Him, Larry June. They got real dates. They really selling shit out. This is second league. He, he already did. Look, look that he on this right now. How you get on there? He that. I need to follow this dude. Yeah, he that. Look at he do, UK, UK, all this. All this then going right to the UK. What's his song? You know, right I hate here, when man. I miss something. Right here, man. I found them all first. Damn, you found one. I'd I, I be pride in that shit. Don't you? I'd be like, yo, I man. This shit right here, you heard this shit. Damn. I remember that. I, know that. I think I skipped over that while I was looking for this nigga named 4 5. He's going all the way to fuck. He's going up. He's going all the way up. Hey, it's just, it's, it, yeah, he hard. You know, he remind me of, of this girl. Like, I heard this, this girl named Big uh, Big Africa. Yes. You seen her? No. She about to go crazy, yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? She just looked crazy, though. But she kind of, she's ill, though. She remind me of how she rap yeah. like that. She crazy. ill. Yeah. Pick up your jaw, man. All right. Pick up your FaceTime real quick. And they're going crazy. I'm with the legend. We was just hey, talking man. about you. Well, I ain't, hey man. What's up, man? What's up, man? Like you take a god, man. Hey, he just played. He just played me your song, man. I said, damn, how I missed this. Shit. Man, put me up. Uh, put something together for me, man. Uh, man, I, I, hey, I'm man, a connect you ain't say that but a word. Look, I got the whole squad here with me now. What you talking about? Let me come learn some shit. I come on, man. We can teach each other. Iron sharp and iron. And we oh, in Miami. Bro. You just left. We in Miami. We in Miami. You I just left. I just got back to Atlanta, but I, we can do whatever. I'm gonna plug y'all. Yeah. Okay. But listen, hold up. Before you get, what's name? We got something to say about the the lions. <laughs> the lion come. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, bro. We be they be back. Eminem like say.
You, do you believe an artist only need that computer, that Apollo, a mic, and earphones to go crazy? Yeah, but, yeah. That's I, all they need. Some great beats. They, they might have a quick mic. And, and, and I say, in a great, they still need great engine. a great producer. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. What is a producer, though? So let's get that correct, because a lot of people say that loosely. What is a producer? A producer is one who can hear what they don't hear. Like, say, like Chris, he's a great producer. I can still produce him. Because I'm like, yo, take out that snare. That's the real snare. Because it's a taste. And it's like, producing really sit with the artist and be like, no, change that line. We should do that line. This track ain't hard enough. And the artist will be like, oh, no, this should go. I say, all right, let's go ahead. Let's bring some people here. You walk out the room. Let them see what they feel. I go by a feeling. If a woman ain't got dang, she got to be on her phone. Because everybody be on their phone. Everybody be on their phone, no matter what, listen to music. But if you in that, just that bitch kind of hit me. Got him. How many people doing that? Got them. And then I look, I tell the artist or the producer, like, see, I'm trying to tell you. Like, really sitting in and dialing in. A producer, a beat maker, just get a beat and go about the business. You've been with some of the greatest artists, Jay Allen. Did you ever direct them to and had to tell them, like, listen, take that out? It was one time when they, uh, I gave them Big Pimpin' beat, and I was like, this, cause you know, Jay Wright, right on the spot. Like, he do it right there. So we was leaving the studio. I said, yo, man, cause I was like, no, I ain't no damn rapper, and I knew this, and I was like, I had this beat, and I was like, man, I gotta play you this beat, man. I don't want to, cause I'm trying to save it for myself. But I said, but I think it, I, it, this is a smart move. I played it, he was leaving, he put down his book bag and said, hold on. So he walked around, and I told him, I'm like, look, bro, this ain't one of the ones that we gonna do in the night. He was like, Psh. I said, we gonna take that bitch home and sleep on it. Yeah. He took it home he slept and then on he it. thought about Juju King. <laughs> and then he called me that morning. He said, "Get to the studio." And he said, "How long was this after you gave him the beat?" I gave him the beat that night, so it took him, like I said, take at least twenty-four. No, I ain't gonna say twenty-four hours. I would say nineteen hours. He had to go home and sit on it. So when he got back to the studio early that morning, he said, "Come to the studio." He said, woo, and that's all he said. He said, and I came over there. First, he said, push play. Yo, I love him, leave him. I said, this dude can't be stopped. Then he told everybody, he said, I'm going to put UGK on the Pimp C. I said, oh, my God. Because I was already listening to different type of music. Yeah. But when he did that, it, it, this sh it showed me the level of how he saw music, his his musicality, like how he just, he not just a one vision person. That let me, that let me know that um, he was willing to like, even if a flow wasn't right, he'll ask me and I'm like, mm. but I never really had to correct him. A lot of people I work with, I never really had to like say too much, maybe like we should change that line or move that line. The only one I think that we, I was glad was work it when I worked with Missy, right? So. I gave her the beat. I said, now nah, this beat is fire. You can't tell me this beat ain't fire. This beat is crazy. She said, nah, that, that shit crazy. And then she went in and she said, all right, because I never really, Missy never let, let me watch her work. So I always get out. She said, oh, okay, you gotta get out. But this particular time, when she came in and said, okay, come in. I said, that ain't it. She had a hook. I was like, that ain't it. You hear that beat? We can't do that, Missy. We ain't gonna look good. She said, no. She's like, all right. And thank she you, went back you. again. Came back again. She was like, I was like, it was close. I said, close, but no cigar. Mm. She said, oh man, are you serious? I said, and then I said, listen to it. You listen to it. Like, I think it could be harder. And then I could tell, like, she's like, all right. She kind of like, she's all right, give me one more time. Then she came in there this time and was like, if this shit ain't it, I don't know, we got to go to another beat. And I, she said, but, you ain't gonna tell me this ain't it. And then when she pressed play and she put that little reverse in there, I said, oh, we out of here. Mm. It's just those little nuances of a song that make you be like, the f is that? Just like when like when I saw Four Bats, when he had like uh, uh, 500 followers, I said, hold on, this nigga got on a pool size thing. And then you never thought that sound was gonna sound like that. Bro, I said, started it's singing. Out of here. When he started singing, I'm like, hold on, I thought it was ready to be some guns, port. I was done. He started singing. I knew it. Like, so, like. I know special. I know it just sometimes some grow slower than others. Yeah. That one I knew how it would go. And it's people like that, that's when I could produce. But when you seen me, you asked me about Gil's daughter, my little cousin. Now, he was like, we're in New York, LA. 
Whoop. She got it. Well, but what was it that, cause you, that's the first thing you asked me. Her pen. Mm. Mm. It's the shit that, cause you know like, these kids on like emo, rock, hip hop, it's a whole different shit. Mm. This shit is, it's so colorful now. But it's all how you swag that bitch out. And she swagged the hell, and the new one she put out, mm -hmm. she swagged the shit out of that shit. Oh, we just jammed some shit Gilly just played? She's wicked, bro. Bro, she got Brent, that's my guy. She's mm -hmm. wicked. Brent don't jump on nothing. Brent is like, he funny style, like, bro. Nah, she's wicked. When I said, oh, this shit out of here. Mm -hmm. She got it, like, she got, like, it's some different type. It's like, how she pinned, bro. Her pen is, <laughs> that's different, bro. Mm -hmm. That shit on some, like, that's how SZA came in the game. Like, you gotta think about it. We came from a, a verse structure of eight bars. Yeah. Their verse structure is 12 bars and a hook and it's done. It's done. Yeah, you're right. And I'll be like, it had it took me a while because I had to regroup. I'm like, what the fuck is this? But then now when they play me a long ass song, I said, bitch, that's- You remember it was three verses and 16? I can't do that. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you yeah. get the fuck on. Thank you, yeah. I'm saying, you gotta get the fuck on. You wanna get in and out. Bro, I don't wanna hear no song, especially you doing like ill, experimental shit. Mm -hmm. You gotta get me in. Cause if I keep standing that bitch, I'm gonna be like, mm -hmm. you know that shit, dog. Yeah. You know that shit, Trey. It's taking you too long to commit. Yeah, to like, like you, you got a style, you got a minute window to get that shit. Give me 24 of those. Mm -hmm. And we won. Cause music is consumed totally different now. Mm -hmm. I can't even digest a long song. I go back and listen to my, all my Justin Timberlake, the 2020 experience of seven minutes, which I love. But after a while. Right. That shit is long as shit. That was a movie. Yeah, seven minutes. We did a seven minute song. Which I do love the creativity part, but now the way I consume, because I go by, we in playlist in area. I don't think people should make albums. I think it should be just playlists. What do you mean, playlist? Should it be just a single? A I single? Think, I think like people should like, like say, when I want to do an album, like I want to call it like the Tempo playlist, like just mm. different vibes, bro. Because you can't, ain't too many body of words you can listen to these days. For real. For What's real. the last whole album you listened to? The last whole album, rap joint. Damn. Hmm. Rap joint, the whole, whole thing? Was and you just had it on play. Was it Travis? I did f with Travis. Mine's was 21 Savage. I The new one? Yes. I, you know which one I rock? The one him and Drake. Mm -hmm. I did rock with 21 her. 21 Savage loss. got some on that. Her loss. Her loss. The new I, did, I did f with the, her loss because it gave. But this 21 Savage album is an elevation of 21 Savage. Yes. I will say that. I did, I did f with that. And I'm gonna tell you, I f with um, um, ESTG. Yeah, yeah, okay. Me too. I'm sorry, die. I f with that. I f with, um, man, it's so funny, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Albums that came out from art, this gonna be sound crazy. The albums I f with ain't even, they ain't even artists on the sign yet. Right. Damn. How do you find them now? On my TikTok. <laughs> Damn, you find them, and you like, and you know it's well, more than just the show. I create the ghetto uh, American Idol. Okay. I call it Timbo I do. So my man Brooklyn said, you can don't use Idol, they might sue you. Yeah. I said, cool. I do. And put a microphone. So I do this shit. That's how I found all a lot of these new shit. That's how I found your girl. Somebody mm -hmm. said, yo, you need to find. I'm like, they come to me, mm -hmm. and I just find. I'm like, damn, they EP be hotter than this be already out. Did yeah, you ever going to do like another versus, create something yes. like this? That was man, y'all saved us doing a uh, pan. That, that's man, we about to bring it back. Y'all killed. In a big way. Cause you know, now the world open, we got we bought them recalibrated and re embraced it. I'm I'm I, I just think I just think when you bring the verses back, it can't get watered down no more. I think it got a little watered down. You Wait. feel just a little it was a couple verses I was like, uh, uh. Okay, tell me which one. I ain't gonna do that because I got a lot of love for people. You feel what I'm just saying? Just tell me, the, okay, just, and I, don't I wish wanna, I had the dates. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna throw them out there like that. You I will say this, I, I need to see Rizzo and somebody battle. He did. Who did he battle? Which was the Rizzo one, man? We did so many. He did, was it Premier? Yeah, Premier. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that, Joan. I, I probably don't, I probably was running but around It was some streets. legendary verses though. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out the No, one. it was some legend, it was great for the coach. Wait, wait, look at the thing about it. A couple of them. Just out of all of them, though, it was a two that was, I was like, ah. Well, you can't win every game. You can't win every yeah, game. Y'all <laughs> won them. Y'all won, won the championship. Yeah, I like you know what I God, mean? I just think it just got to be able to stay at a certain level. Well, what level is that? Well, how would you see it? Like, it's so, you can't, but. Got to. It got to go up. It got, no, there's too many legends out here, man. It, it got to stay at a certain level. 
It has to. How was y'all picking it though? Well, who 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 yeah. picked it with you and Swiss? Come in, see how I came up. Cause Swiss is a great curator. Yeah, he's Swiss a is Swiss is great when it comes to music and both our brains together. We know how to pick the right. Cause we it's really about the playlist. If the yeah, battle is one thing. Powerful. It's the playlist, and it's regurgitating, making them people look at artists in a different way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot it of artists, like, the artists because they shit start playing, start streaming. They make a bag off that. Shit. So I'm it's all change beautiful. My whole situation, yeah, I mean, man. We we need when you when y'all come back. We need a bomb. I'm talking about. We all know that. Uh, I'm talking about the first one. And we need a, a break the internet world bomb. Yeah, we have some situations. <laughs> 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 so, I'm like, man, a little fucked up now. <laughs> this ball could be a bomb bomb. But yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Did like, you ever get close to get something done and it then it fell through? No, nah, because I think everything works when it's last time. Yeah. Right? yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think the idea sometimes yeah. can be planted too soon. Yeah. That's why and then you come back, come back years I, later I, and I be like, every other yo, yo, yo. Hold so we come back years later and you be like, uh, damn, remember that idea? We had that idea two years ago. And sometimes, it's, you know, you just don't can't put it down. It's the wait on God's time. I had to learn that. And you know what's funny? I always tell you that, Lo. Because see, Lo, be a little, just a little impatient. Because he be like, yo, man, we trying to interview. Like, we, and then we don't ask dumb shit. We highlight your greatness. So he don't be understanding sometimes we would be like hesitation. Like, yo, why the fuck they won't want it? And we come yeah. from nothing. We come from the yeah. ghetto. We represent the bottom. Why hesitate? Because, because you, know what learned, you know what I learned? You know what I learned about this? What I learned about hip hop, and it fucked me up, a lot of people that came up off of hip hop, I'm talking about the blood, sweat, and tear from the ghetto, they don't fuck with the ghetto when they get up. They don't True, fuck, they, and, and it's crazy because it's like, oh, Yo, I don't need y'all no more. Let me go to these other people. Let me make sure these, let me go to these. And, and it's not just about interview. It's the whole, precise, the whole way we do shit sometimes. It'd be like, F everybody that got me up. I don't need y'all no more. I'm cool. And that'd be like a slap in the face. And it ain't even about, and, and like I tell him, you don't know, you don't got to come to us. You go to, you go to anybody. But it just be the idea that I'm bigger than that now. I'm bigger than hip hop now. I don't got to with hip hop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it'd be like, it'd be like a real live slap in the face. Like, damn, we the ones that did it. But do you, you know think? I mean? But you think that's just hip hop, or you think that's just going levels up, levels? No, up? you got levels. But at the end of the day, because I think I think it comes with pop artists too. Like certain people be like, but at the end of the day, they ain't gonna go to uh, what's the Kelly Clarkson yeah, over the what's the View. They're gonna be like, no, nah, I'm going to the View. But that's but that's cool. But act, let me ask you a question. If you make a song, hip hop, whatever, you got to take it to the streets in the club to get it approved. If you don't, because l let me just say this: the ground. You got the soil, you got the tree. You see this big ass tree, but it's the roots that keep it up and keep Fact. it alive. Fact. Now, now, the the ghetto say, I'ma give you approval. The, the bottom say, I'ma give you approval, Timbo, or this person or that rapper, to be the representative of us. I'ma let you be the rep, the, we voting you in. You can't get in and all of a sudden say, oh, I don't fuck with, I don't, I hope. You can't get in and say, I don't fuck with the people that nominated me to represent them no more. Because the roots hold all this, soon as, think about it. It, when it when it when it slide over to white America or, or, or go corporate or whatever it go, pop or cross over, it only crossed over because we said it was hot. Right. Once, once once listen, we control cool, but we don't own it all the time. Mm -mm. So once we give it the stamp of cool, it cross over, but it's never gonna cross over. And the white kids in the different cultures ain't gonna f with it if it ain't popping in the streets. True. And that's why a lot of these dudes go cold because they get up, they start popping, they like. Somebody tell them, oh, yeah, I ain't got to make it like that. No, we got to connect over here first. Mm. I don't give a f because everybody that you've seen cross over, most of them die. Most of them go, and I, they, they go cold because they start trying to cater to them and they forgetting the sound that got the people to f with them anyway. And then you go on, and then you got to understand why you're going to a motherfucker. You go to a motherfucker for, you got an album coming out, but then you go to a motherfucker, you do an interview and y'all talk about everything but your album. We know, we know the you shot, we know who shot at you. <laughs> the we, chick you was creeping on your wife with, that's right, dumb shit. We right. not asking that. We, we know about your dope case in 2012. We know about all this shit except for your fing album, man. You was here to promote a fing album. Mm. You feel, but you went and got caught up in some dumb shit. I didn't know you were snorting coke in my hand, me off them, them two strippers' titties. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're not mentioning that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gil might be like, damn, why you ain't give me some of them? Man, you know, the fing out of here. I'm just saying. I ain't asking for yeah, yo. <laughs>
I'm just saying. <laughs> you gonna make me get early. Why you ain't giving me no gonna rub his nose? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fuck, saying, yeah, you know. fuck, fuck all that. I need to. We gotta. Can I test test that machine out? Yeah. Let me see. That joint hot. No, right? I don't know if it's on. Is that joint on? It should be connected. Is it connected to the speakers though? It should be. Let me see. What's the push? Like two hundred? Uh, what? Two hundred dollars? You don't need. Like five hundred? It's like five hundred. I think it's more like five hundred. I might buy some beats, Gil. Like Make a trillion dollars off a five hundred dollar beat machine. Well, I mean. It's the That's computer. only two hundred. Oh, it's only well, now, But now they got it with you. Well, they're working on the one where you don't have to have the computer. You can just plug your earphones up mm -hmm. to this and make it? Yeah. Shit, slow up. What you mean it's slow? Like if you're they're working on it. They're, they're working, working on it. There's a new one they call Push 3. That is, you don't need your laptop. You can put it all in there. Damn, I see something running. Mm -hmm. It's connected. Oh, shit. So you would just use the earphones and this? And... Yeah, I plug up to the pop. Yeah. Oh, you just made a beat. Well, I just made a sound. He hit a sound. Look at this. Nasty ass beat. I'm gonna do your tag. Nasty beats. Oh man, let's it's talk about the damn tags on the record. Yeah, how you feel about the tags, bro? Y'all done got him started. Yo, bro. Do, do 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 a tag. Keep you in the, keep you in Look, the time. Look, man, it's only like five tags that are that are, that are great. That's what five we, tags? Weezy, Weezy out of here. Metro booming. Mm. Metro. Yeah, 808 Mafia. Mm. Uh, uh, Mafia. Uh, ATL Jacob. ATL yeah, Jacob. Hard, yeah. Um. Turbo, Turbo got one too. Run that back, Turbo. Run it back, okay, Turbo. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah, what I mean. It's a four or five. And, uh, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. One of the first tags that was one of the best tags. I think he might, he might have been one of the pioneers that started it all. Oh, you said pioneers. Oh, right. That started that tag shit off. Jalil Beats, holla at me. No, Bangla Jack. He damn shit did. Bangla Jack. Bangla Jack. I don't know. Bangla Jack. I'm saying he might have been one of the pioneers. I don't know. Bangla Jack. Bangla Jack. But the hardest, hardest tag, take he. Fuck that shit up. Yeah, take he. Yo, that might be the illest tag. That's all I'm saying. Look, if you got a dupe, your tag going to tell me how your beat is. Man. If you got girl, fuck your beats. I'm like, oh, this shit trash. Cut it off. Cause I know it. Why would you put that on? on if you... <laughs> <laughs> but some people had. Do you? Some artists had a tag. What's the name had a crazy tag? Uh, Ross and them Maybach music with the yeah, girl. but that, that, that's that's their whole. That was their whole like, company. Hey, that, that, that was, was their company. Sweet. But see, okay, what is Ross? A tastemaker. Yeah. He knew that shit sounded great. That shit sounded. I'm talking about women. producers to just get a yeah. tag to say, "Yo, say my name, so I can, they know I did the right. beat." And they get a girl. Dookie on about, the beat. Yeah, nobody want to see. I don't even want to hear your beat. Like Dookie. Even even if the beat dope, I told producers like if the beat was dope, I said, "Bro, can you send it without your tag, man?" Because it just th they just throw the whole beat off. Damn. Because that's your you, you only got one shot. Your introduction is everything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. if homeboy, you just played me, if he had a dumbass tag, he would have said something. Yeah. He'd be like, hey, bro. And artists got to start doing that, even though they like the beat. Don't let nobody get no dumbass tag, bro, because that shit ruins everything. Damn, I ain't know that. Yeah, I can show you plenty of beats right now from people. You'll be like, oh, you want to get past the tag? Facts. Yeah. See, see, I was telling him, right, even before we got here, because he, he, oh, he all excited. We we interviewing someone. We interviewing someone. Man, this shit gonna be crazy. I said, dog, you know the is Timberland. I know the is DJ Timmy from Norfolk. Yeah, yeah. Timmy. You feel what I'm saying? Used to do my. This was a vicious scratch with his elbows. You hear me? One night yeah, in the club, yeah. did a DJ pinky Jan, toe Jeff. No, this did a pinky toe scratch. <laughs> Oh yeah, Who made you do that? Club up, you hear me? I think I think me me DJing was like that because it, it, I just you know I love music. But you music. did the pinky toe scratch? I did some with the elbow. I ain't do the pinky toe. I wish oh, I, yeah, I, I, I thought it was a pinky toe scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Back then my arm was fat, so it probably looked like a pinky. <laughs> 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 oh, <I'm doing> <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. It's fast. I'm gonna keep yeah. going on. Yeah, fast. Oh, uh, cool. Is it, that is uh, cool. I'm I'm on I thought it was a piggy. <laughs> you ain't like you took a shot off. No, that nigga ass for all, all this time. Like I'm, a pigeon. I'm, I'm running around bragging.
to the pinky toe scratch. Yo, what's up? Yeah, that yeah, one guy said I couldn't get up there oh, back in the day. Hey, play a fuck up too. <laughs> I would keep it 100. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I was big, I was scrambling up there. <laughs> but that's how you got the beats, transitioning, huh? Yeah. From DJing. Because huh? I love music, and then what happened was, I was just like, man, you know how you get that moment in music where shit is whack. Everybody got, it got wax season. Yeah. So at that time, I was like, man, I can't keep blending these songs. Yeah. So my mom brought me a Casio keyboard that could only sample one second. I said, what? How that's gonna work? So, I, you know, when you're from the hood, you ghetto, you got to be creative. So I just said, well, okay, it got, it was a keyboard about that, not half of that. And I said, well, what if I speed up with my hand and then hit the one second and go all the way down to the last key? Yeah. Cause the last key was slowed down. So that's, I started doing that and looping it on. I would uh, dub out the cassette head so one could play, so I could catch the beat on the other. Yeah. And then I put the double beat and I just started hitting the ones, just making loops. Yeah. Like, boop, boop, kick. Funky drummer, then stacking on funky drummer, mixing it with a Michael Jackson. Do, 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 then people was like, oh shit. So Pharrell came over there, and this one we had a group called Surrounded by Idiots. Pharrell made this song. So it's it's surrounded by idiots. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. Surrounded by him. <laughs> surrounded by <laughs> him. That's that's to be a new group I should start. Surrounded by <laughs> him. Just had him as the logo. Yo, surrounded that's what we had. Surrounded by yeah. idiots. That's what it was. And Pharrell made this song with the uh, Human Nature sample. We said, if you freaky baby, you can get with all three. It was B Pharrell. My whole boy was good. Last night, was good. Was for real? Was a group? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, I did not know that. It was. It was all. And y'all was some called surrounded by idiots. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That oh. shit, wow, bro. Because it was more like he. What y'all come up with that? Y'all yeah. just sitting in the house. We some dumb motherfuckers. Max. No, it just, you know what it was? It was, it, was, it, it was the moment, it was the moment of, tri we was big Tribe Called Quest fans. Oh, okay. So it was all like, right. what fit in that, like, all native right. oh, tone, okay. all that type See, of thing. I ain't grow up a rapper, so I, I now understand. You know what I'm saying? So, but it was, it, it, you know, and it, it kind of, you and know. That had to be the early 90s. Yes. Oh, okay. What? Yes. So that was I before school. Biggie dropped. That was before a lot of shit changed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We was all in that type that, of that's shit. That's the boom, skickety boom, skickety boom. That's a fact. The skippity hump, the skippity hump. Yeah, that was that era. Yeah. Cause effects was legends. That was a good era. Yeah, we had a lot of good music, man. So, let me just ask you a question. So, Missy really had to be like, she had to be Big Mama, man. Cause you is a, a Hall of Fame legendary producer, and you throwing the beat, and Missy say, all right, get your ass out. <laughs> Her and Aaliyah. Oh shit! Just throw you out. Come on, man. No, like that's the we time don't get I. We don't give you two Get out. <laughs> I never seen them record. Damn. They don't oh, I seen Aaliyah at the beginning. Then as she got like after a while, she saw how, saw how Missy was doing. She's like, I think I like how Missy do it too. All oh, y'all should get out. I'm like, damn, bruh. I'm like, man, come on, come. It's gonna be better when y'all come back. Go to the club or something. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't say nothing but a word. <laughs> we dipped out. We got the hit battery too. We hit dip right out. Yeah. And then like Aaliyah, this you know, in New York when we did try get like to be all right, get out. I'm like, damn, like Missy them poison everybody. Everybody had to get out. So we just sitting in the lounge. So so was they the only two that did it? I think mostly all the girls did it. Yeah. Most all tell women you. mostly tell you to get out. Oh sh! I didn't know that. Mo yeah, I, and I think it's like I think Cardi do the same thing. I oh, heard. God. I think like they they only want maybe one and one other person, the engineer or or the producer, the girlfriend. They, yeah, oh, that's okay. it. They, 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 I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm talking about any rappers made me get out. No, but I can tell you the illest thing that was when I worked with Thug. Doug didn't tell people to get out, but he didn't. He told the engineer they all put on headphones, and he would knock out. And he'd come back, and he had five songs. When he come out the booth, he done done five songs. And I'm like, the hell, I didn't even know he went in the booth. Mm. That type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, I know, I know a lot of rappers that do that. Put the headphones on. They were, yeah, we all be so everybody be the talking the whole time. Yeah. They in the recording. Yeah, and he's sitting right That's, there. And I did with the take that. it back. All right, yeah. he taking it back. Yeah. Oh. But I ain't never, you know, seen nobody. That's the only like. 
like rap with it. I, I said, okay, that's kind of dope. He still want the energy in the room, but he not paying attention to the energy. Yeah. He in the booths doing this shit. So nobody really liked that. Was a, but most of the girls tell you to get get out. I know Missy and Aaliyah. I ain't seen them. Well, I seen Missy at the beginning. The rain. After the rain, I ain't yeah. seen the recording. Everybody, no you always make sure you in the, you with them when they doing it, or did you send them the beat and they? Well, now nowadays, you know, everybody want it's the sin. We in the sin. We in the sin era. My people don't want to get in the. They want to. They rather get on the phone with you. And you know, not a lot of time I can still talk it through. So it's, it, either way, it works. But it can work either way. I, I prefer to be in the room because that's where the magic is, is at. But I can be. I can do it either way. Because I'm still using, I'm still, we still spending time coaching through the record. Like if I sit on the phone with Chris, I'm like, no, change that beat. He'd be like, like this, like that. Like it's still, okay. it's still, I'm still giving my energy. So it's, it, just, it ain't the same as being in the room when you can all hear it. Mm -hmm. But now they got technology where I could hook his computer, my computer. He could be on the other side, and I could be in the studio and still play it on the big speakers. Mm -hmm. So it's like we together. But he's not. He could be in Canada somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do like about technology. You know. So it's like. The feeling is the feeling, right? Mm -hmm. And I think the feeling is fellowship. Not sometimes an artist sitting in the room without the person who created the music. Mm -hmm. I think those two should always have a connection because it's a marriage. Mm -hmm. And a lot of artists don't, you know, they don't feel that because they think they bigger than the music. That's what's wrong with, I think, the whole production game. I came in the game where we were the car. Mm -hmm. Right. Now people are like, I, don't, I can go get a used car. I could go... <laughs> I don't need you. Like, I go get a car that look like you, but it ain't you. Yeah. And it's, I can pay them seventy. dollars Exactly, and, it, because, and everybody cheaping the product. So now, producer, you got to put a tag on your neck. Just, that don't mean nothing. Nobody thinking about your tag. Ain't nobody going to remember that. Like, the producer got, the it, it, it done deteriorated so bad that it's like, damn. Like, And I tell producers, I say, well, what if we didn't do a beat? What if all producers stopped making beats? How 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 would these songs be made? Mm -hmm. I said, y'all ever think about going on strike? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta wait for y'all pay. Wait, well, just don't do no music. Don't send no beats out. Right. Script the whole internet off of loop beats. Mm -hmm. You'll wake them up. What's the high at, at the height of this producing thing in your game? What's the most you ever got paid for one beat? Man, we used to get paid like three hundred, four hundred thousand. That's for the beat and that's it. That's for the beat. beat. Like, could we come in there because we work? You still with get the a split, and you, how much you, you still? That's just to make it, and you still get all your splits. Yeah. yeah. God damn. But that's how it's supposed to be when you go get a Bentley. You want to be like what? He don't, he ain't telling you to say, hey, can I get discount? No, he said you want that Bentley, don't you? Three hundred thousand is cold. But it's yeah, you that's, investing that's, in yourself. No, I ain't saying it's wrong. That's good. I'm, exactly, because you're investing in yourself. But now people are like they invest like it's cheap. Like it, I'm I'm it's not it's no. The thing that me and Swiss always talk about is no big eyes and little U's. Mm -hmm. Now is who are you? I'm the big eye. You know what I'm saying? With the artistry, like they don't they don't cater to the music like that. You know what I'm saying? They can just say, yo, I'm hot. Let me just get a bunch of beats mm -hmm. and rap on it. It could be John John from around the block. You know what I'm saying? And that's not how it's supposed to work. And that's why that's a part of the reason why longevity is not because they're just not, they don't understand what to make feel good music. They know how to make music to build up their brand, mm -hmm. to keep them hot. Like a, that's all all music is is for your brand. Like, you know what I'm saying? But these artists build up this soul, all these followers and they think that the music can just be mediocre. And they don't think it's mediocre because they not mediocre. Mm -hmm. And that's where the the mismatch come up. So the producer, like if you came in there beefing like, yo, don't I get 50 or 25, 30%? No, you get 10, and I'm helping you out. Oh, Did you yeah. You ever had somebody tell you that? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, yeah, not I mean, I put my time in. Yeah, ain't nobody tell you don't I just try to help it for the new people, because I'd be like, well, damn, you know. It's still, I mean, it's a collaborative thing. It's a marriage, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, you know, people feel like they're giving the producer the event. Like, I'm helping you out. No, we're helping each other out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a collaborative thing. I'm not saying I, I should get more, but it should be a 60 for you at least. I know if you got to go out here and work it, that's cool. Right. But this, like, they'll try to st st steep the producer, like, oh, I just got this beat, oh, six producer, you don't want. And it's like, it, this, the level of how they talk mm -hmm. about the creators is be right. like, wait a minute, like, 
it's that beat now. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That beat jamming now. Don't right. get it twisted. Right. What's the fastest you ever made a beat? I don't really go off of like how fast I make a beat. I go how great the beat is. Yeah. Okay. Who the who is the top three Sorry. most talented artists you work with? Like, and I'm not I'm not saying I'm talking about they, they, well I'm talking about artists as far as you know they like writing, sing. They might. Be I think produced. you got to go hard. I think you got to go longer than three because. You can't say three didn't work with Usher, Justin uh, Timberlake, Jay Z, yeah, okay. Beyonce. So, so it's like Justin, um, Jay Z. Don't speak for him. Justin, Jay Z. And you know what's so funny? Who I thought that was great? Who I watch work? Fabulous. Whoa, well, shout out to Fab. Fab is a monster. Mm -hmm. it, we don't talk about him though. Mm -hmm. Fab. Then he one, got the new show. He one of them guys, guys. Yeah. 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 Real, like. Yeah. And I was, cause maybe, well, maybe say him, cause I'm like, man. It was a great experience working with Fab. Sometimes I forget, like, because you get caught up into the. Right. But I'm like, wait a minute. That's Fab. I work with a lot of great people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just thought I'd listen to uh, Love You, uh, Make Me Better today. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, Fab. That was a cold John. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, he got Fab is that dude. Yes, he is. You know what I'm saying? He, so he's I, still that dude. He's still that dude. He that's my definitely. point. So he's like, still out here. That's, that's my point. Getting booked overseas. We got to highlight that. Booked overseas. Booked here. Like That's why I'm highlighting like, because he's doing it. He and it, and it's I see it growing. You know, it's it's crazy how the new. You know, he's he's and he, he still got that swing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I think it's even evolved. Yes. 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 Like he's one of the ones that's not gonna say, "Oh hell no, he doesn't call me old." He stands in the mix. I uh, only keep it real when I, when I when I look at like like you know Fab and and dudes like G to Kiss. You know, them, them dudes had a f LeBron James career. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They still, you know, relevant even with the young kids today. Like, you know, they know Jada because they know Fabulous. They, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I, we bring them out at our shows. The youngins in there, the middle age, the old, they, everybody going crazy. So, you know, salute to them legends. You know what I mean? But, like, that's one of the, like, because I thought about it. We had a great session. That dude, penmanship is is. Dudes on twenty year runs, man. Still out here, relevant, man. You know what I mean? People done fell off in twenty years, and they wasn't the top tier of the. You know nope. what I mean? They was here, and they just maintained. Just, you know what I mean? People was here, and now they here. Fact was here, now they here. All the way to the moon, now they back down to the ground, and them dudes was right here, and they just was on the jet ski, them. just. That's beautiful, man. What what, what was it? Health is so important to you today. Hell yeah. I just seen you eat some, some great watermelon fruit. You was working out early in the gym. You was snapping. You in there showing me the Luke Skywalker logo. I'm like, yeah, yeah he represented the legends. Luke, that was my. F Look, listen. I told Sexy Red, I said, Sexy Red, you doing this because Luke and them almost went to jail. Two live crew almost went to jail. Yes. Bobby, fighting for the First Amendment right to, you know, speak, freedom of speech and all that. I said, a lot of people for, forget Uncle Luke. They was legendary in this in this booty, nasty talk, smut music, all X-rated. Mm -hmm. They was legendary. Cause I saw a lot of, when I was a kid, I was like, yeah, they said what? I'd be playing, I'd be Man. they talking at I'm like, yeah. yeah. When you I mean, no I want to tell you this what? for a while. I like the way you move, like your smile, the yo, way you walk, you, you talk. Please let me have a chance with you win the dog. We got together. That was I was like, yeah. I'm the old man Bob. All I wanted was a Miami Hurricane jacket and a hat. Everybody did. That's all I wanted. They Notice was this. He ain't want no. <laughs> I just wanted to jack it in the No, I want I want to be too loud. <laughs> the whole time they talk about getting pussy. All up in the pussy. All, all, all I needed, all I needed, was, and I wanted <laughs> gold caps. Like, and I was a too loud. I was a member. Yeah. They was you ever <laughs> concert? I never. I seen Luke. I seen Luke. Listen, I seen Luke. He came to uh, the Fever down down in Philly back in the nineties, right? Early nineties. He came in that joint. That joint came out. Listen, this this when I want to rock. This was in back in the day. When I want to rock came on. I want to rock. It was like 15 big booty chicks come ran out that back and jumped on the stage. It was ass everywhere on that stage. He and there, he going in. I'm like, damn, because that's all you had to do back in the day. You ain't had to do all that shit. Hey, you drawing backwards. Up right here, a couple gold teeth, big chain. Okay. That's all they had. That's all they needed to do. I said, I'm looking like, oh my God, all this. I was, I almost, it was like a, it was like a, I was 
It was so much ass, I almost passed out. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's I was like, God, you almost pass out. You ain't no ass. ass. I ain't had to get nothing. I, I think usually you I get some jumping. ass and you pass out. Oh. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> How you almost crazy. pass out just from the ass being on stage? <laughs> you know what it was? I think, I think uh, it was shock value to see that on stage. We never saw that. And that was like NWA. We listen, never saw that. He didn't had listen. These these were some. These had to be some chicks from Miami. Cause I ain't yeah, and he, took, he brought Miami on the road. Like them chicks, they I'm telling you, like the chicks now, they had the BBLs, the bodied up, they had the kits before. I don't know if they had some they was doing some shit down here back in the day, but they was kitted up. Yeah, it was right. Them cheeks, they it was a cheek fest. It was double cheeked up, it was off the hook. It was uh yeah. Double cheek. The king of diamonds today. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh my god, I was yeah. like, Fuck yeah. shout out to Uncle Luke, man. Changed the game, man. Hell yeah. You man. still ain't get no ass. That was that real loud pussy right. Luke left with all the bitches, his 15 bitches, the bitches no, in the man. club. He left. I had some. I had Luke something is with man. Me. <laughs> I got something with me that night. I had something. Yeah. yeah. Jurgens. Fucking you. He said Jurgens. Ah! That's the after the one black lotion he ever. He won't <laughs> think about all the bitches Luke had on stage. Ooh, ooh, that lights here was. Ooh. It was some lights. It was some light brights. They had some light brights. Kind of like. Thick, 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 thick light brights. That's, man, they was cheeked up. I ain't never listen, man. This was before. They all understand. Like, they looking at the gram. This is before gram. This, it, you, know you didn't what? see cheeks but, like them like that. Hold on, hold on. I couldn't believe it. You know what? But if I was we, like, go, what if we could go back and watch the video, would we say that today? Or was we. was. Oh, was that the time back then? No, that was the time. It was different, man. They, but what if we went back and watched that video now? We like, damn, who said girl with cheeks? No, nah, cheek I remember cheek what up. happened. Fuck that. That night, <laughs> we be like, what? I seen them cheeks that night. They was the biggest cheeks I ever seen in my life. Yeah, back then it was. I was but like, I was, if I watch it now, we probably be like, what? Okay. I never seen them cheeks that big in Philly at that time, early nineties. These cheeks was the biggest shit I ever seen. That's why I was like. It was like, as soon as he came and started doing the joint, it was like, I was, you know how they, what's that called when you explode? I was like, as soon as he came, he just, I was like, ah, boom! I was like, that was crazy. I was like, oh shit! I couldn't believe it. Ah, oh, it was crazy, shit. man. That's only what happened when you don't get no ass. It was crazy, man. I told you he was warming my bitches up for me. Go ahead and suck some titties, man. Yeah. He go ahead and suck some titties. <laughs> boom! All right, come on. <laughs> come on. Head no. over. No, shit. No, it's crazy, man. Oh, shit. But no, I see you on a health crazy, journey, man. Right? I see you on a big you time health journey. Some bitches on stage. You got to, man. Like, what, um, I was watching y'all interview Ooh. with uh, Kevin Gates, and he said it right. It's the it's same thing. It's my choice of drug. Yeah. No, I smoke, but it's it's the, I can't describe it, man. Like, when you, you know, y'all in this shit, when you dealing with this life, working out makes you comprehend it better. It makes you feel better. Let me say it's one minute. You say you smoke? Yeah, Now, let me ask you a question. Was back in the day, was the feeling, you know, because it's two different feelings. I know it's some nice, high-power, you know, exotic weed out here. But when back in the day, when you was in Virginia, and when you went and got that Nick bag and the clear plastic, was that feel better than now? If you had to match it, shut up. If you had to match it. Was that good reefer? See, that was reefer. That's before they put all this shit on it, man. You know what I'm saying? Well... I invested into this weed company that got good ass weed. But I'm saying, was it better than the reefer? I ain't saying. Listen, what the, fuck the feel. Shut up. It's a, because it was a feel back in the day. He was smoke. Was you smoking on top paper back in the day? Yeah. Or Philly blunts. Top paper. You was a, you see, you was a real old head then. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Then then you went to Philly and my blunts. My dad smoked top top paper, so I just I knew. He came time. in the game smoking seeds. He was smoking seeds on Philly Blunts. That's what why he, fuck he <laughs> came into the game fucked up. But I'm talking about the feel of the reefer back then. Because we talking about reefer, man. We ain't talking about this new shit. Um, Tip, that shit was I'm dookie, I'm trying to hold man. back in the day now, Tip. I don't know if it was dookie because it, it, it gave the, I mean, if I go back, if I had a bag now. It'd be nothing. Well, then I can't compare from back in the day. Because I think the feeling today is amazing. Right. You need to smoke. You I need put a couple contacts. Dookie. Shut up, nigga. That's, that's your problem. No, but uh, like good, but like not not all weed. Dog, he never good. smoke a drink in his life. That's he never had thing. a good time, man. He's a fucking He's a loser. loser. <laughs> he never had a great time in his life. Ain't nothing like you. You at least one time you gotta get I drunk. Put a couple contacts. You gotta nigga. get drunk. Go home. Why you that bitch off though. the handy? No, because listen. Let me tell you what happened. Can't even show you sweat. Let me tell you what happened. Shit. He the reason I never got high. He, don't need, listen, he never listen, even no, killed no, no. off the Henny. He the reason I never you got be knocked. sweating. You know you can't show me. Listen, listen. It's like, hey. He never even killed. This is what happened. You never I get a call. I'm in the crib one day. I'm chilling, right? I'm in the crib, right? That's There's no bullshit. I'm in the crib. I'm watching More Better Blues on VHS. I'm chilling, right? I'm in the crib. Like, phone ring. This is this before. This is when you just had a beat with the phone. Yo, 
Yo, I'm like, what's up? Come and get your cousin. You tripping? I run around the corner. Gil out there, ass naked with his cold flows, clothes folded up on the curb. They're like, man, Gil just had some butt naked. I said, what you mean? He just smoked some PC, a PCP blunt. So I'm like, he just standing there like this on the wall. I'm like, cuz, put your shit on, man. I took my shirt off, wrapped it around him, right? So he all sweating and everything. What you doing? Where I'm at? Literally, his clothes folded. So I'm like, this nigga smoked it a dust blunt. That shit scared the shit out of him. I said, I'm never getting high. I had to wrap him up, run him around the corner. Okay, man, you can't go off of that experience. Man, that was crazy. Oh, that nigga was ass naked. God, look what you just said. You said a PCP blunt. But I was scared of drugs after that. I said, I'm not smoking, because I didn't know he that. don't do that. He man, wanted, no. He wanted extra, he, that was extra curriculum. Yeah, he wanted to get it. He got raw. He wanted, he wanted well, to get it. Well, that's not, that's not, you got at least, man, I'm telling you. From I your, was scared after that. Because you so hyped, like, it would be, it would be great. And they got different names. Like, I think for you, it would be great, uh, Indica, like, if you want to relax, like, yo, I need yeah. to let my brain disconnect. Yes. Now I don't do it around people like you like just do it in your house. Like no, I, I gotta be charged up. I just had three of them joints, man. Them uh, who was you gave me? Them joints was all. So you an energy person? Cuban, Cuban coffee. Dutch so you need so you or them sativa would be great for you. I like that energy. Mm -hmm. The no, sativa would be great. I done had a couple contacts, so I knew the time. Yeah, no fucking. No nah, man. I mean, I'd have been in there with you, Snoop. It was a smoke yeah, festival. Hold on, Mike Tyson. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna get contact with Snoop? I was in there with him and Snoop. Smoke just as much as Snoop. No, but y'all was but together. both of y'all together. You ain't get no contact. You know what I mean? Oh, we all in the room, bro. That shit be made up. Oh my god, man, with all these mother feel hot. No, you don't. I was, I was that shit's made up. You want you wanna feel high. You Yeah, I'm on. Get the fuck out of <laughs> Part here. Part of that's true. You not fucking well, I was high. Sure. I was sitting there. You not high unless you put that motherfucker. So, and then that motherfucker come out your nose. You, okay, what about C B D? Nah, I never No. He's a fucking loser. Not even a sip of wine? No. Nah. He's a fucking loser. After he was drinking, and then he got crazy one time off himself. All right, one night, one night. He drunk a hurricane listen, one time, a 40. Listen, and went crazy. I said, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> he night, was on hurricane. Now, one day. night. He left. One night. I wasn't on In that jail. Shit. It was Valentine's Day night. His he cell caught on fire. He lied. When he got to the cell, it was two glasses of wine. <laughs> <laughs> he said the cell caught on fire. It was two glasses. <laughs> it was two glasses of wine in there. Candle like dinner. So, so, so he lied. It was incense in jail. So what it means they get the rubbling in the cell. <laughs> 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 what 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 I know it's that his body that happened when he was rubbing the sheets. What? Catch on fire. No, it's crazy. What are the sheets catch on fire? The whole cell on fire. They got to evacuate the whole mother fucking prison. Wow! Because him and motherfucking Ricky Minaj yeah, yeah, yeah. get into an argument. <laughs> he lying. Ricky Minaj. He lying, man. He lying, man. Listen, man. I'm chilling. I ain't doing it. He lying, don't be tempted. <laughs> listen, man. It was a wild said, shit in jail. He said, they got into an argument. Valentine's Day night. It was a wild shit. Oh, oh, Valentine's Day. It was a wild shit. He lied. I didn't see some shit, but it wasn't me. It wasn't me, Tim. It wasn't me, man. Yo, I know. That shit. I know. It wasn't me, man. I know. Look, I know. That's how Boosie be feeling. He like, oh, man. I'm Yo, listen, listen, listen. It's no bullshit, man. I was scared one time. I was in jail when I heard the first... Like lovers call fight, John. We listen, listen. There's no bullshit. It's lights out after count time, right? So I go to the sink, right? So I'm in the cell, like you know, they got the open bars so you can hear what's going on. So all I heard a motherfucker say, "No, bitch, I'm still a man. You want?" And I just heard, boo, 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 boo. I'm like, so I asked myself, I said, "Yo, what's going on in here?" But this one, I was new to prison. I'm like, "What's going on, man?" Oh no, they they have they having a little little lovers fight, man. Little. I said, a lovers fight? The fuck type shit's going on? You <laughs> he, he said, yeah, the two, the two right down there, the big boy and the... I said, they go together? He's like, yeah, that's jail. It's cool. It's normal, man. Go ahead, lay down somewhere. I'm like, lay down somewhere? I'm washing my hand. I'm just like, man, I had to... Oh, man, that fucked my... Jump. Bro, it messed me up. Like, what? Said, that's like, normal. I'll go back to sleep. Man. <laughs> what? I said, that is normal. So now... Did you sleep? <laughs> I know you was like... Man, listen, oh, man. Hell, no. I was scared to death what? for years, man. This was the only nigga jail slept on his stomach. I was scared, man. I don't blame He said that. Oh, that's normal. I said, tell you, I'll go back to sleep. Like, go ahead. Nigga. What? Cool. I'd be like, hey, man. That's not scared. normal, bro. I was scared to shit, man, for years, man. I was like, damn. I don't, but hey, what was it? <laughs> that was crazy, man. No, <laughs> oh, hey, man, that shit. Tell me you understand what I said. I said, he's the only nigga in jail, step on his stomach, tip so I don't play, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, you put to sleep on your back, man. I just tell you. He said, I don't blame you. That means you offering yourself, man. <laughs> 
Like you, you trying oh, to shit. You oh, man, I didn't need it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yourself on the menu. Hey, Timmy didn't catch that one. He told me. He walked right, 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 right back to the. He walked right back to the. He told you to go to sleep. He couldn't get past that. He said, I don't blame you. Because I'm still stuck on the sleep. I'm like, no, because that was his way of telling him. We gonna be rumbling in this motherfucker in a couple months. Don't worry about it. No, we ain't go through that, man. I ain't go through that. We gonna be in love in a couple months. It was months. a hell of a that's journey. Normal, yeah. nigga. Wow. I ain't tell nigga that's normal. Go ahead and sleep. Damn, man, that was crazy. Damn. Damn. It was different. It was different up jail. Matter of fact, let's put both beds together, make one bed. <laughs> you can't do that. Still, it's not lot, structured. No, right. no. You really explained it. <laughs> it's not because you put that smut on my jacket. How, how long? You <laughs> I did twenty. <laughs> Yeah. You know, no, I, yeah, no, yeah. You know when I knew it was real? I knew it was real when a dude got married in the yard and took his his his, his wife on a visit with him to see his mom. I said it's different here. It was different. His sister called his called his, his wife out and his mom called him out and they was on a visit together. Like it was normal. Like it was just chilling in jail. I said, damn, they could do and the guards don't guards just let you do you. So I'm like, oh shit, I gotta really be on point in here. Cause my, I gotta walk out with my innocence. It was dangerous, man. Yeah. He wouldn't have made it, man. He he got I mean, he got locked up for them ten days. He immediately snitched. He said, "No, I ain't, I ain't staying here. This shit too rough." Told on his wife. Got out before her. How you get out before your wife? If you and your wife Tim go down, how the fuck you get out twenty days before your wife and your wife still in jail? <laughs> and they go they go to her. He tried to say his wife was in a was in a Korean connection. You remember the Chinese connection? Yeah. You said that. He said, he said, listen, she in a Korean connection. They come through do a big investigation. Cause they said they thought she was the plug, you know what I mean? So when that happened, they did the fucking joint. You in the Korean convent. She in there, they interrogating him. He home, it's gonna be alright, baby, just chill. He, he living his life. How you get out, y'all, she do 30 days, you do 10. You out in 10 days, she's still in jail 20 days later. And now they got this Korean connection, whole investigation going on. Cause he said, babe, they came in here, said I was a part of some, some gang. Cause she don't know. She didn't grow up like, so she like some gang. He said, what was the gang? The Korean connection. They said that I was supplying half of Philadelphia with weed, all this dumb shit. Hey, don't you believe that dumb shit? This, and he home, he home. He this lying. Right. He home. Bro. Look, he Tim got a bunch of motherfuckers over here. They all like this. He ain't told. He, he did snitched. what? <laughs> he snitched on his wife. Don't y'all believe that dumb ass yeah, shit? <laughs> she, said she got a hand over her face. <laughs> it's deep, man. I, oh I, I was fucking. God. I told him, "Cuz you could have did thirty days." <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know you got a Chinese. Like this. Like, you you, you got a Chinese connection and a Korean connection. See, people don't know about the that. fuck out of here. You man. see what I'm saying? He's Come on. Don't you listen to him, Tim? Hey, man, we gonna get to getting making this. No, but hold up, Tim. I gotta ask him a question oh, about health. Okay. Well, you be on your health journey, man. Yeah, yeah man. Tim. Tim just wanted to be a room body for the bitches, man. That's what niggas do that for, man. He, he part. He, that's part true. Don't right, tell any nigga that's in shape. Trust me. Not, no, because the minute gonna, they come, come out, the boy, minute they begging to come out a shirt for like, like it's time. Being a fat boy, because I, I always hate about to get busy. having Come titties. Ho ho ho! Kevin Gates was talking about that. I always hate having my. T I told my at one time I had a girlfriend. I said, well, "This ain't gonna work out." But the my, baby ain't trying to suck your titties like. No, but I said my titties. I, my titties can't be bigger than your titties. Damn, yeah. shit, that's crazy, yeah. It's deep. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. We, we both be sucking each other titties. titties and shit. Like, that shit just feels weird. Y'all go, go, you go missionary, y'all titty to titty. <laughs> yeah, titty like, titty like, titty so titty. for me, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I was wild, like, fat. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit just came. So I, for me, it was like, yeah. yeah. I ain't, I ain't like that. I I knew I could be better for myself. Yeah. And your life changed. Yeah. So I was like, it's, it, that's part of it because you, it's all a vision to get to the goal. Mm -hmm. And then I just start the complication, and I had to, one time my, my sleep, I had sleep, um, agony. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I had to sleep with the thing. I said, oh, hell no. And, you know, I was, I was, uh, I was addicted to drugs. Heavy. What type of drugs? Oxycontin. Damn. How did that and, come from? Pain? Man, like, I went to the dentist, you know, I was going, it was time I was married, and I got, when I was going through, uh, like, a divorce before that, but even this, when I was married, um, I went to the dentist, and just life, so much stuff going on. And she gave me some Vicodin for a thing and that Vicodin made me feel like Superman. I needed more. Mm. And I just started like, yo, can you, how my did teeth, you, my teeth still hurt nice and lie. How did I you need shake some, it? I need some, man, I'm, how did I shake it? I'm gonna be honest, I'm real honored. And people ask, just God, God had to show me 
actually showed me die die like showed myself get out of my body like an out of body experience and like i was dead i saw myself dead on the bed out of my body mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so he was just like you know i got you through this and i was like but you know the withdrawals and he just weaned me off i started just breaking little pills and started weaning myself off still go through the withdrawals um and god just weaned me off just wean me off That's slowly, the and then I never looked back since. And people put it and still put it in front of me, and I I never had the urge. So I I know I was stronger than what I thought I was. I heard you say you was going through a, a divorce at that time. Did that play any role in it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely played a big role in it. And and um, I want to shout out to my to my lady, my queen. Now she she wrote me through the whole storm. Mm -hmm. She used to sit down and um see me sleep and wonder if I would wake up, yeah. you know, watch me and stuff like that. That's a blessing. And she, you know, she rode with me through the whole storm. That's why, you know, I believe in, you know, you all, that's why I treat her the way I treat her. Like, you just know who down for you when, when you're going through shit like that because that's a rough experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, battling addiction is, some people relapse, some people do certain things. I, I never did that, thank God. I was just happy to not have them withdraw because withdraw people was like you ain't go to a doctor you ain't do that he said man you could have died i said well god talked to me every day you know man you, you know god and i'm like i'm dead serious bro yeah. like how's i could have do it yeah mm -hmm. she was there to monitor right. but it was god taking god, me through yeah, the process you through it, yeah. right you know what i'm saying so you can't tell me what's real and not real like who else did i was taking 180 like two 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 times a day damn that's a lot for two years. I ain't supposed to be here. Damn, that's a blessing. God is good. Yeah, like that's what well, I'm saying. He was high, 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 high. And you were still working. Still working. Some people knew, like, I was going session, and people knew it because it started to show. Yeah. Because if I ain't had, I start itching like Ray Charles. Ooh, damn. For real. I was like, pooky. Ooh. And you know, and it, you can't do nothing about it because you're, you're nervous, bad, you're, you're irritable. Yeah. Shit, wild, bro. But when you own it, you feel like that dang Captain America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For real. You came up on, that's a blessing, man. Yeah. So now you're healthier. Yeah, you're like, because you know, we only get one body, people dying left and right, they don't go get themselves checked out. And yeah. I was like, after that, I just made a promise to myself to always get colonoscopy, go get my blood work, to watch what I put in my body because I abuse it so much. It's a blessing to not have no brain damage. You know, I still got a little sometimes memory of me and other people that who, who've been through the same journey, they experience the same thing. But I just know by, I used to juice a lot. So I juice a lot, that kind of like repaired a lot of Stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm, I feel like I'm still in repairing stages because I did so much, you know what I'm saying, and drank here and there, but I mostly was like this appeal popper, you know what I'm saying, so, but it really like, it it, 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 was, a, it was a serious journey, like them going through withdrawal ain't no, I don't wish that on nobody, no that shit is the, there ain't nothing you can do, but just fight it and wait till it wear off, mm -hmm. some people, you throwing up, you cold, you irritable, you can't be, it's, 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 it's serious. But then as time, it started to go down, I'm like, whew, and I can function the sweat, and then my body temperature be right. Mm -hmm. Then I'm, and what made me not go back, because I don't want to experience that mm -hmm. no more. Mm -hmm. I'm like. You ain't doing that with you, I ain't doing that shit. Nah, I ain't doing that. And what's so crazy is, he went through a similar situation in jail. What? He get, he, he already in the jail. Some old head come through there getting high on the streets. Oh, man. When he get there, he fucked up. He think he putting the old head in line. You know, he came in the cell. Now, you know, I felt as I was in the cell before, because when you institutionalized, you got your cell cleaned a certain way, uh -huh. your stuff put up. So he come in, he all, you know, going through his throne. I'm like, listen, man, we ain't doing this, sit up in there, you know what I mean? Listen, that's your bed. It makes you clean up after yeah. yourself. He get oh, yeah, all these rules. Oh, yeah, fucked up. He going through that. All right, all right, no problem. <laughs> Three months went by. Back in the yard. Oh, yeah, he got his weight back up healthy. <laughs> he, all in his, he all in the bunk. He sleep. Oh, yeah, go tap me, man. What's up, man? What the shit you told me three months ago, man? Come on off that motherfucker. It was the middle of the night, too, man. Come on, Come on off that bunk, man. And, and you know what I did? I was a respectable young man. I said, listen, no way. First of all, he retreated. No, no. This is he I started him. bitching at a rabbit read. Listen, 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 listen what I told him. I said, hold up, boy. You know what? You was right and I was wrong. We ain't got to do none of this. It's not even about that. Can we just, you know what I mean? Let's come together. You know what? I was going through something. I had some personal issues. You know what I mean? Just that third. And luckily, he was in a good mood because he was like, 
I'm gonna give you a pass, man. I understand, man. Huh? But he was ready to die that night. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I just was like, I'm trying to be here. He was? Yeah, because I seen in his eyes, I seen he wasn't playing. When he tapped that motherfucking bed and I seen him in his eyes. He slapped him on his ass. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I was sitting on my ass. I was hey, get up, nigga. When he told me, come on, get on up. He, he said, get up. He had his boots on and his gloves. His workout, these was workout gloves. Yeah, he had his drawers on. No, no, I didn't. He, was, <laughs> he laid all over his drawers, his socks. Listen, this one I knew, listen, see, if I didn't know shit that night, that night, I seen death himself. I knew he wasn't playing because he had his gloves on and his gloves was rips in there, all the residue from lifting the weights out. Because in, cause in the prison joint, they had them, them raw weights, but they'd be like, they'd be like uh, rusty. So your gloves get dirty. He had the white pink gloves. He had them Jones on. He said, come on, get on up. I look, right? And all this seemed like, you know, you know how you, you know how you hit the gates. It'd be like, oh. Uh. I said I was going, I said, no, I ain't ready to go tonight, man. <laughs> okay, so what, what was the difference between that look mm -hmm. versus a regular nigga on fire? No, the, the look was, motherfucker, you played with me, man. You gonna die tonight, motherfucker. You gonna, it was, it was a look of, let's kill each other. And I wasn't ready to kill nobody. <laughs> I was like, we ain't got to do this. Why would you? But okay, what's the difference? What I'm asking when you was on the street, what's the difference you, from fights to what no, made it? No, no, this was personal. It was different. See, the fights on the street be little regular shit. Ah, but him, his joint was young blood. He I'm was a, locked in that just, cage with that nigga. He different. couldn't run nowhere. You can't no retreat. Way. See, see me. See, see what, what 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 kicked in immediately for me was the song always play, the gambler, Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Know when to walk away, know when to run. That was my mind, that was my time right there and there to say, you gotta live to see another day. So as soon as I got up, what is, listen, the the, the universal form of peace, hold up. Hold up, let's talk. He's a bitch too. Let's figure this out. Was How it? you go from checking over here to tell you something, you know what, you was right. No, cause he got back in, he was swolled up, he lifting that steel. These motherfuckers, this motherfucker was in the yard with 45s curling it like this. 45 on each side, doing shit like that, running all day, doing a, doing a thousand push-ups for no reason. Whip your ass. So, so I'm like, I don't know if I was the motivation for this ass whooping, for him to come back. So I said to myself, I said, you know what? You right, old head, man. I was going through something, man, and thank God he gave me a pass that night. Cause what he, he said, like he was like, he didn't. He's like, he said, I'm gonna give you a pass, young blood, man, but I ain't forget that shit, man. I said, you know what, I was wrong. I must apologize to him like 153 times during a week. I wasn't listening, because listen, it was like, what the fuck? He, he really took that thing to heart. Man, the blood, every, listen, every time I got up and I seen them blood no, on the door. You apologized 150 times. Every time I got up and seen 53. Every Hold on, so, up, so this nigga, so after, so say, say if you sat back down, you thinking it was cool, he just kept saying, I ain't forget that no, shit. No, listen, 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 see, this the twist. He was an old school, old head, so, and when you were in prison, old heads, he see, you don't know nothing, no, 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 listen, 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 you don't know nothing about the old heads. One thing about old heads in prison, they randomly just do crazy shit to just keep, to just throw you off. He'll just get up, right, he'll jump off the bed. I mean, he already be laying in bed with his boots on and all this shit. He'll jump off the bed, go to the cell door, look out the door for no reason, put his gloves on, just be in the corner, shadow box. Uh, uh. I'm like, damn, is he thinking about me? Damn, old head, you remember that situation, man? Cause I ain't know what the fuck was going on. Okay, so you reminded him. I so, reminded him just in so, case if he was warming up case, for me. Let me tell you so, something. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I get let you. Let me tell you something. Oh, Ed, do the, the greatest trick. Uh, if you could bluff him, you could beat him. Had him oh, scared of all in there. No, 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 no. Cuz. Hush, hush. Cuz. Mm -hmm. Hush. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you hush. something. Let me tell you something. He and Ed. Oh, Ed, I'm sorry again, Oh, Ed. I ain't. I seen niggas with guns that didn't have that look that he had in his eyes that night. That's what I, okay, that's what I was trying to get. You a bitch. His dudes with guns. Oh, Ed, he had he had in his eyes that night, man. He was okay, ready. Okay, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Me and you can get this. We just threw a boxing event. We seen that a black one dude one coming one in one he was at the way, and he, he said, was a bad motherfucker. He was like this year. To the point, I'm like, damn, this nigga look rough. I'm gonna show you this boy. He was a monster. He got punched in his fucking head in the fight. It fell down. That motherfucker looked more from this to. Oh, wait, he's not tough no more. You let him bluff you, man. You could have got right down, shut him away. Bang, bang. Oh, this dude was Wait, he's saying young boy ain't in. He let him bluff him. I had, listen, this dude was <coughs> dangerous. He was scared. You thought your innocence was on the line. This dude was dangerous. I don't care what nobody say. You he saw you it in his eyes. Yeah, he was dangerous. You thought your innocence was on the line. This dude was dangerous. 
Well, you, he looking for him because he love this clip. This, this, this dude looks so dangerous, bro. I was scared. He got and he fought a light skinned dude too with a do rag on. He punched him, bam. He went from looking dangerous to looking like the scaredest nigga in the country. Yo, it, was, it was a fear it in his eyes, close to death, John. It's like I'm gonna die today. That dude said he was killing somebody today in that in that, in that cell. It was B two eleven cell, A block, greatest four prison. I never forget. It was like two thirty in the morning. I said, no, I'm, I got to make it out of this motherfucker. And that was it. But uh, I, let's leave that alone. That's that's that's, that's deep, though. I said he saw it in his eyes. Yeah, it's deep. Deep. I mean, now, I was, you look at the Wait a minute. He ready to go. He was ready. He was going to be me and him. But he had he, his eyes said he was betting 90 percent that he that I was going to get up out of there tonight. Let me tell you the real true story. Oh, he tapped him. He didn't want to work. He gave peace treaty. He was a mass. He was a mass. He said peace treaty. He was a mass. He was over here. We going to call him. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my God, I can't deal with this shit, man. Oh, hey, oh, hey true, Steve. Nah, man, I, I can't do it. But listen, so you're on a health journey. But listen, man, I, we thankful to still have you here and that you ain't give up, that you was able to, to have somebody, a strong woman by your side, mm -hmm. and you had to drive and you had God, you know, walking you through in order to come back, man, because you know and I know we know people that didn't make it. And it wasn't even as far as you was in your battle with addiction. Exactly. They was just, it would just be one hit, one thing, or one, one pill, and they'd be out of here. You see what I'm saying? Because so, the situation is, is deeper with people that got money because your addiction become way different. Can't nobody you tell you nothing. Sometimes. a lot more drugs. Well, no, you can't. I, that's why when people own it, if I know people own it, I'm like, yo, chill. You got to pick your moments when you're talking to them. Mm -hmm. Because you can't tell them nothing. Mm -mm. You couldn't tell me nothing. So I look at me. So I know how to talk to I'm like, Cause I can relate to all what you going through. That's what's gonna make me get through to you, mm -hmm. nigga. I can say, oh, I bet you up at night. You <laughs> flipping a pill bottle, and they're gonna be like, you might don't say it there, cause maybe people. But I'm like, nigga, you know I'm telling the truth. Right. I, I experience everything you experience, and it's worse when you got money because yeah, because you know, if you in the hood and you want something, you getting thirty dollars worth. You getting forty dollars worth? You go use it. You get forty more dollars. You got money. You like man? Bring me all that shit, man. I ain't gonna keep calling this nigga up, man. Damn. Bring me all that shit, man. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like, <laughs> like I had like I said I had a man. It was crazy. Man, I had a I had a doctor, a crooked doctor, who was just giving me like making the prescription and stuff. Oh, so you had bottles of that shit. Man, I had that. I had the perk and the oxy. Oh shit. It was like my. It was like they was on me like a hip boy. Like yeah, I got the murder gun though. You know what that means. <laughs> he was up all night. He's a maniac, maniac. Hey, you said off the what? You said the Perkins. <laughs> no, I tried the Oxy. Ooh, the Oxy. <laughs> <laughs> the Oxy is a different monster. Is it Oxy's alien? <laughs> no, the Oxy. No, that's a different monster. <laughs> that's why she stuck around with him. <laughs> that's crazy, man. <laughs> See, we gotta get this nigga back right. <laughs> Come on, no, baby. You can hear it. That's what I'm saying. Make you feel like, you know what I'm saying? And it makes you, the party be funny. Everything just be, yeah, you, be you be, you be, it's a, it's a, it's a different, it's, it's hard to break for most niggas. Because mm. they feel like Superman. I ain't gonna lie. But when you ain't got it, you feel like Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> nigga thirsty. Yeah, he's swimming. He's like, he's like, God dang, you attitude somebody, yo, come get me. Why ain't gonna you to start? It's crazy, bro. I mm. and then you know, and then I, the ill part about it is people don't realize I said, man, my mouth starting to twist a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like, you know, you see people that yeah, you, that, that, I'm like, Damn. you know what I'm saying? Like I'll be like, the fuck my my mouth. And you you start doing it unnoticeable. Yeah. Shit was wild, bro. Did, did you ever get to a point where you almost overdosed? Probably. I don't know it. Because, you know what I'm saying, like, I think if you overdose, you ain't going to know because you in that high. No, but what I'm saying, it could have been a time where he's like, oh, no, I had to get rushed to the spittle. It was like, no, 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 no. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, no, not, not, not from, from it's crazy. I never had that with drugs, but with weed, I did that. Oh, they, when you was paranoid, nigga. Yeah. Don't hear that. Oh my God, give me to that. <laughs> You're right. It did. It, but it's filling up my heart rate. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Look, look. Look at that all the time. Look. Hold on. 
No, for real. And you I went there on 180 not... twice a day. He cool. Feel like Superman. No, I did. Da, 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 da. I can run through the wall. Because... He smoked some weed. Get me to the hospital. <laughs> it's the weirdest shit, right? I but run through the wall. No, it's the, it's the truth, bro. Because like the oxy, it, it don't hit you like sometimes like a upper weed. It's like it's a. It's like that's why people drink lean because it's a body high. And then like you just be. You see me like, like, yeah, they be talking with that cup. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, they in, they in that high zone because mm -hmm. everything just like a blur. Mm -hmm. But you, you still can function, but you just like, whatever, let's go. And you just, everything, bro, that shit is, that shit is serious. But we, like, I had to go to the hospital because I was thinking about something and I had smoke made my shit rush and I was like, Oh shit, my arm feel like it's getting numb. And it's all oh, in your mind. Oh my God, man. man. Your arm getting numb. I t look, I'm telling you what was in my mind, you was, man. Yeah, you was, was fucked, fucked up, up man. Yeah, so, so hold on, but this will woke me up. So uh, this will make me come to my damn senses. So uh, the, my man at the time, I, my security called the ass, man, we got to call the ambulance. Now you go to the hospital. And we Chicago. So I get in the hospital, I get in the ambulance. They put that said, so what's the problem? I said, man, my heart rate. And the, and the two guys just kept talking. I was like, if we moving, I, man, I'm about to die. Yeah. Then I realized, like, I'm all right. Bitch, I'm tripping. Let me out this let me, let, 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 let me out this ambulance. Because y'all sit here trying to say I'm a... Because they thought I was joking. Like, ain't nothing wrong with this because guy. Because you was joking. I he, was. He got in there. What's what happened? I said, so he... Who gave you to the hospital? hospital? No, no I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Game last Hold up, man. So let me explain what happened with, with some weeds. Some weeds, cuz. If you got a lot on your mind, and if you got, like... A lot of thought, it kind of can give you like um, anxiety. That's what it does. But but, it was it, but but was it like it was some, you remember what kind of sativa? No, it was just like, it was good weed, but if I'm thinking and I'm Chicago thinking. Chicago weed. No, it was just my weed that I had. All right, man. But it was like a. Uh, it was his. No, it was, it, no, it was just weed that was like a, a, it was a hybrid. It was a sativa and an indica mix. Oh, it might have been a little. Yeah, no, I want no pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it was weed. It was weed. You might have one of my puppies, you know what I mean? <laughs> Give me to the hospital! My arms, you can't move it! Yo. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what no, I did? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's right. I did do no, that. No, but Gil used to be on the roller coaster. He used to smoke the roller coasters. Get the fuck out of here. Everything in it. <laughs> oh, hell no. It was a dipper. He used to dip it in the look, piece, but piece of coke, some, some, some hand rind, and some crushed up volumes. And he used to go crazy. <laughs> he he used to be angry. It's a roller coaster. All used, <laughs> cause they call it roller coaster because all he used to be screaming, Ah! Then he used to, Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? I'm on a roller coaster. I'm like, because you sitting in a chair. Ah! <laughs> That's Don't you believe that nigga, yeah. It was crazy. I Yo, did, I ain't gonna lie, e edibles will do that sometimes. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. One time, I'm not gonna lie. He tripped out. Trust me, that, that's when out. I really tripped. Like, I tripped out. I ain't gonna out. lie. But like yeah. I said, I didn't have to get no ambulance. I, I told myself, you fucking tripping, you high. You acting like a bitch right now. Chill out. Because it was Ramadan. After Ram I don't smoke during Ramadan, so I take the whole month off. So then... When Ramadan ended, oh, I went crazy. I ate a whole 500 milligram edible. I was smoking on live. I'm talking to him on live, and that bitch kicked in. And I said, hold on, y'all, for a second. I put the phone down. I want to splash water on my face. And burn. I come back to the phone. I try to play it off. Yeah, what's up? I'm like, hold on, y'all. I got to I get, I come back on. I go off that motherfucker. I'm like, yo, oh, shit. I go sit down on my couch. Was it gummy bear? No, it was a fruity pebbles drink. I'm bitching. <laughs> I'm talking about bitching. Like heart racing. I'm bitching. I'm like, oh my God. Then I just had to say, man, you fucking tripping, man. You fucking high. Stop bitching like this, man. All right. I took a couple breaths. But you tripped out, though. Yeah, I, I did trip for about seven, eight minutes. Now, look, I did that to Amazon was, one time, I, I but now I had, I had other trips where I thought Michael Jackson was coming after me from my edible. What happened? What I was he kept, doing? I just felt like he just, Timbo, like, come why? here, Tim. He he got, I just Timmy, kept hearing the nature. Why? Why? Timmy, come Timmy, here, stop running. I was like, yo, why is this Michael Jackson song playing so loud? Oh, yeah, that was you had a thousand now. Hold on, hold on. Fuck. And this is when Michael Jackson died, that's why. Oh. Damn. So it's like he had just died and I couldn't. Did you see him chasing you? No, I just like, I felt like, what are you trying to tell me, Mike? Oh shit, he was telling you they coming. 
Yo, Nigga, so the other bullet shit said, "Why, why <laughs> tell him <laughs> that it's you?" Like, yo, that shit. yo, shit was wild. No, we don't hear that shit. Yo, hear Michael Jackson singing. That's Fuck. Wild. It's a lot of times. And then after a while, like I got used to those panics because they happen uh, a lot of other times after that. I ain't never call ambulance no more. But a lot of times I'd be like, I, I remember I was um in London on tour, and my and this guy made a cake. He put a no answer down. He put a bunch of weed in there. You know how you wake up in the middle of the night, you're hungry. So I was grabbed the cake and forgot that it was a weed cake. And I said, mm, I'm hungry. Ate that cake and I had Miami Vice, the Jamie Foxx version. Yeah. I thought Jamie was shooting at me from the movie. I woke up and I heard the gunshot. Boom, I said, oh shit. I said, they shooting at me. It was only me in the room. Then I went to the mirror. I, I tried to open my eyes. I was like, I can't, I can't see. Damn, that was some strong weed cake. Yeah, dude, I was like, oh shit, I'm alive. I just gotta go through it. And when you eat edible, you just gotta just deal with all the shit that comes. So I just sat there and was like, Jamie Foxx was loud, I said, what's this nigga, shut up. So I cut him off, he still was talking. And I was like, yo, this. And I called, I called the guy, I said, what, how much weed you put in here, man? A half a pound. Exactly. He said, I put the whole half. I said, the what? <laughs> How he said, dude, oh my God, did you eat it? I said, fuck yeah. He ate one slice. I said, bro, I can't move. You need anything? No! I'm just gonna sit here and just hope that the Tom and Jerry, all these people stop talking to me. Cause they were talking yeah, to they me. Was, they yeah. was looking for him. I just sat on the edge of the bed. I just said, you gotta go away. Was Mike dancing when he? No, he wasn't there. He, I, was just, I walked outside. It was at, I was in LA record plant yeah. and it felt funny too. Cause it was like, Mike was dancing. That'd be in record plant, they got like this weird stuff next door. And I'd be like, and it was like, why? Why? I was like, he was asking you why you do that. <laughs> he probably was. Mike, that's where Mike was at. Because you said he came to talk. So Mike was like, Timber, why? Timmy, what are you doing? Oh, DJ, Timmy, Timmy, Tim. Timmy, Tim. <laughs> Mike was like, he said, why? 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 Why you do it? Tell him. And I said, I'm going to be in there. Mike Jackson jacket with all them zippers on it. Yeah. Yo, okay. and my engineer, my engineer told me too. He said, I told you don't eat the whole thing. You just went crazy. He, I said, man, you ain't tell me was this good, though. Mm. And mm. it, it, it's a studio, it's, it's munchy time. Yeah. He said, but I told you not to eat the whole it's thing. It's over, Mike, yeah. he talked. And I was like, man, this shit ain't doing nothing. I'm sitting eating it like, man, this, this weak ass shit. He said, how long did it take to hit? Bro, that shit, yo, I swear, it was this girl, she was talking to me. Who, what was her name? I don't know, that's the whole point. So I was in the studio, I walked outside <laughs> the lobby. Check the to talk to her. This girl talked, she said, tell blah, blah, blah. And her mouth just looked like, opened up like Shrek, I said, and I shook my, she said, you okay? Because <laughs> her mouth was big as shit. And I was like, yo. He had some different stuff. And I was like, you know what? I just said to myself, I said, I told my other, I said, Demo, you gotta get me out of here. I'm high as mm -hmm. shit. I said, that girl look like Shrek. He, said, he started laughing, he rolled on the floor. I said, have, um, I swear she look like Shrek. Yeah. He said, is that Shrek? Um, and I kept talking, he said, you fried chicken, fried chicken. I wanna um, remove you from this shit. Out. Like, yo, and I was like, yo, I said, and that shit kicked in from, and then Michael Jackson started coming. I started hearing like, doo -doo 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 -doo, faintly in the back. And they was like, yo, Michael Jackson just died. It's like the time he just died and people was, was in LA. And I kept hearing, doo -doo -doo -doo. I said, yo, I got and I started walking out, started walking around. I said, I can't be out here because this weird shit going on over That's here. Deep. So I would have sit like, oh man, am I dying or what? But I ain't calling no ambulance. I just sat there and my engineer came out laughing. I told you not to eat the whole thing. Damn, man. That's crazy. I told you. Mm. Play as fuck up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and you know what it is? And the shit, the shit. Like, I just take the weed pill because I ain't like the smoke. I ain't like the, like, that. so this, this lady I just get it from named Dr. Dina. She always gave me, she said, I got the TAC in 10 milligrams, 20 milligrams, or 50 milligrams. So I got all the 50s. Mm -hmm. So I said, because I don't even want to be smoking all the so time. One thing about you is you, you do some drugs, you ain't going to play with it. No. You're going all the way there. Yeah, I got the 50 milligrams. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there chilling, having a conversation. And when them bitches, sometimes they kick in a little cool. And when them bitches kick in heavy, Sometimes boy. they act a fool. Yes, they do. You hear me? And then if you put, it's like I start learning, I said, damn, what is the, because it, you can't predict when it's going to happen. Like, you can smoke all the time, and that one particular time, you'd be like, yo, my shit. That shit happened to me, it still be happening to me. Well, who you talking to a loser? He ain't never smoking drink, man. You got to try it, man. No man. one time, man. I mean, you don't, I'm with you, but you, it would be nice. I wouldn't have mind having a conversation with Mike, though, but I don't. I don't want to go through all you that. You gotta come, smoke some of this shit I got. Mike can come right to you. Why? 
Why you would? I think you and him, but you do. You that's Mike come right to you, smoke. smoke some of this shit I got. You, if you do it, boy, you get right all in. Just beat it, boy, that's, 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 beat that's, it. That's, that's beat because you never oh, done something. You, you met the Jones. You rock my world. You know you did. If I see mine, I'll be done. Like damn, Mike, how you do that dance? Teach me that, John. He might be like, okay, Wallo, do this. I'm like, damn, Mike. That'd be crazy to have a conversation spend a with Mike. Night in my crib. Get the fuck out of here, man. You talk about Mike. I'm talking about Mike Tyson. I'd like to see you and Mike Tyson. Oh, we talked to Mike. Yeah, Mike, told, Mike, Mike told him he was a pussy. Mike, Mike said, tried to get him take some. Mike said, you you tried to get him to take some mushrooms. You're a pussy, Gil. He's like, you're a pussy, Gil. Oh, no, I ain't doing the mush. Mush. Mike said, you're a pussy. You don't want to take the mush. Because everybody, I know my brain. Fuck no, Mike, I want to take the mush. Like, I'm not taking everybody. Oh, it's healthy. It's like this and that. No, 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 no. See, let me just tell you something. The reason why I don't take mushrooms, because number one, I'm too old to try new designer drugs. I'm not. I'm too old for that shit, right? Number two, I was at a table, right, having dinner, and it was like 15 to 20 motherfuckers at the table, and everybody was on mushrooms, right? I wasn't. And, and, no, you weren't. I wasn't either. But everybody at that table explained to me what mushrooms did to them, and all of them said something different. Oh, it operate the, the side of your brain that ain't supposed to be operated, so why the fuck would I want something to do that? <laughs> The fuck you do? No, Gilly, cause you can never be sad. Wait, so I'm just walking around like this? Just hit. No, I don't want to. So everybody broke some different shit down that this shit do, and I'm like, I'm cool. And then everybody was lying. Everybody always say the same shit. No, cause we microdose. You bitches just ate four Snicker bars. What the fuck is microdosing then? I'm confused. Exactly. You niggas passing these bars around like a motherfucker. What the fuck is microdosing? Y'all all lying to yourself. You're not microdosing. You're fucking macrodosing. Yes. Facts. You're getting fried. And then everybody I know a mushroom. They be looking like they super concentrating on something. Have you, have you tried it? No, fuck no, but I just know everybody that I know, when they do them, they be like this. And they pictures, like they super concentrate on something, like they trying to look through something and shit, like, like a fucking superhero or something, so. I don't, I don't like it either. <laughs> oh, you tried it? I, I tried, like. Did it have you like this? No, I tried like a small milligram, but it felt like, I said, like certain drugs just don't, I'm like, man, I feel like I drank some wine or something, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. And maybe they said, oh, you gotta keep taking more. No, I'm cool. Oh. I don't wanna, I, if this is the first, First portal, I'm cool, man. I'm but you know, here. that's the new drug. You know, everything comes in waves, and you know, uh, it used to be the lean. Now, uh, motherfuckers ain't on the lean like that. It's, you still got people that drink it, but they not on it like that. Uh, and the perks, and it's the, it's the mushrooms. Huh? All right, go, man. But the mushroom is supposed to be like a uh, mushroom's been out forever. Yeah, but it's supposed to be healthy for you, but it ain't healthy for everybody. Mm -hmm. I feel like people should do it. Should get like brain tests because. You still messing with a chemical imbalance. I mess with mushrooms sometime in my like, you know, if I go get some linguine and stuff like that, throw some mushrooms in there. Yeah, the mushroom, 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 not the mushroom that comes with linguine. Oh fuck, you talking yeah, about that type shit? I be, you know what I mean, <laughs> hey man, get the hell on, man. Ass. I'm sitting looking at you like what? But you can do that too. They got mushroom. That, that's why I'm like, did you try that? Like, how, how do you know? I never. Well, you know, I had a couple. Huh? How do you know? Like, how, if somebody gave you pasta, how would you know? Yeah. I mean, you gonna know immediately because you gonna sit down, feel. But you always energetic, as a person. Yeah, the mushrooms that I had, I, they couldn't have done nothing to me because I ain't. It was good, especially when they got the nice so fredo sauce. Good. So if I do a mushroom in your drink, would you be mad? Yeah. Oh, wow. But how would you know? I know not to eat nothing from you. Well, I'm saying I get somebody. To if you already a hyper person, a certain you probably wouldn't feel it. It probably just get brighter for you. Your ideas are you starting to get more. Be, you think it'd be like you, you gotta feel, smoke a joint? Did do feel more limitless? You remember limitless? That's what you'll be like. I can tell by your personality. Dog, ain't nothing like smoking a joint. You and you and a woman, man. You, Ever since you smoked that dust blunt, my life changed. No, he he right about that though. Smoking yeah. a blunt, that he right about that. Y'all you, cool. hit that. I'm cool. But if you did a mushroom, I feel like she you decorate would decorate like your piece for you. I feel like it would. Uh, but then again, I, I just be watching because you. You a visionary. You strong, and mushroom brings it out even mm. more. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't and, with that. and we, we the good boys. Bitching, man. Nope. No, it's cool. It just be bitching, man. I ain't messing with it. I ain't doing. You just want to stay right and say, if I told you, if you, I, if, I, if I can look in your body, and say, yay, hey, yo, yo, your level of capacity of like comprehension is at a hundred. If you were to take this. It would be at 130. You just be cool with 100. No, I'm cool with 100. I ain't fucking with that because it might go some. It might go another way. That's true. But what if I give way. you all? I might be stripped out. Whether down the street. Uh, you always bitching. 
Mate, no. what the hell? Okay, that's true. Anybody but I ain't coming. Ah, there's so much. A couple people seeing your little winky. Yeah. No, ain't nothing. Uh, you you went viral. Demons. You got demons. So what? They coming. Ah, help me. He strip out. He strip out. Start saying all kinds of shit. Kevin the Stallion, get off me. Oh, oh, Kevin. Beyonce, leave me alone. Uh, all this Yo. old shit. Only all, all this old prison shit. So how you feel about? <laughs> how you feel about yeah. the Adawaski? All that stuff. No, I know a friend. Deeper than deep, try to get me to there. Wallo, you need to come and take some Adawaski. Mm -hmm. I, I said. No, I don't think I should do that. You remember she used to come around? Yeah, she, she said, had you doing dumb she said, shit. I said, so you want me just walking around in the woods ass naked for no reason, just touching leaves? For no reason. That's, that's how that be. Yeah. yeah. Ayahuasca. But she already got him to do this. What was that shit you did? Uh, what did she get me to take? She took it. He took this fucking plant, right? Oh, it clean you out. Yeah, but you be fucked up all day. What she give you? All day you got to lay around fucked up. Is it was worth it? Was it for no, no. no. What was it for? Cleansing? Yeah, yeah, yes. tell you. you don't want to do that duck shit. Flower. Duck flower. Bro, she might have. Shit, what did it do? Fucked him up. Nah, no, man, it ain't do nothing. He got to sit on the couch all day with a bucket. You was throwing up? What? Yeah. Shitting? He shitted on himself. <laughs> Look, That's what it's supposed to do, throw up bro, and shit. Bro, that shit, throw up shit, it's supposed <laughs> to clean you out. Who That's wanna just terrible. randomly, you just chill on the couch and just shit, <laughs> shit come all out. Uh, so, no. That's not a cleansing. That's a disaster. Thank you. That's what I tried to tell She's you. She's deep. Man, man. She deep, she gave me the Yeah, yeah, boy, uh-uh. Yeah, look at him. No, I ain't gonna do that. Now, that's what I won't gonna do. That's what I ain't gonna do. No, that duck flower was different. You could duck flower. Like, have y'all heard? I ain't heard of no duck flower. Duck flower will take you yeah. to another level. Well, because it's, 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 it's deep. Oh, it comes from the jungle of Tanzania and all this That's where she from? Oh, the people in Tanzania don't even take this shit. <laughs> Why the fuck is y'all taking it? Yeah, you gotta be careful. You'll never see the people that's in like, Tanzania on duck flower. They out there fucking eat monkey meat. That's like, that's like, like a no duck flower. Oh, fuck. Tell me how that shit in store, dude. Fuck no. You gotta go to the deep jungles of Tanzania to get it. But the people oh, no, from no, Tanzania no, no, don't no, get no, it. No, 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 no. It's like, then you smoke weed, for real, for real. It's no, like, I don't. That's you did. You took duck flower. That's weed. That's weed, nigga. Nigga, we, we, we can't go, I can't go, I can't that's go, I can't go to the vitamin store and get some duck flower. That's weed with cocaine and dust on it. That's a dust flower. Anything one. you gotta get from another country, you smoke weed. Right. <laughs> you did drugs. And you did cocaine, nigga. You ain't getting your test. You got cocaine in your system. You gotta be sure. careful, people do stuff. Nigga, right. For other country, nigga, that's drugs. Are you? Are you no, she ain't from. She got cute face, slim waist. Give a nigga anything, and smoke this. What is it? Duck, duck, flower. Duck flower is legendary. No, that's that's legendary somewhere else. Yeah, that's that's. that's he that's, threw up and shit it all day. He was uh, he was off the market for seventeen straight hours. And so, what did it do? Like after you, after it whatever you supposed to. Nothing. He didn't feel better. Nothing. He just felt like he, his stomach was so had less shit up. in it. Clean up everything, mucus and everything. Man, you got. This is video it. No, I didn't. I ain't got. That's that dog. That's not that like weed. He looking for the video, dog. It's cool, man. I'm gonna show you this video. It's fucked up, man. Everybody take that shit. She be having on her gram. They be throwing up. Uh, uh, uh. She rubbing they back. Mm -hmm. All of it. Tears a legend. She getting you high as hell, but in a different like. Uh. So wait a minute, everybody do that when they take it. Yes. You throw up, you cleanse yourself, and you be shitting in anything. So do you guys take in the bathroom? Right by it. <laughs> Nigga had a bucket sitting on his lap. Did you lose any weight? Yeah, I was shitting all day. I was throwing up all day and shitting all day. It's a flower. You take it, you swallow it, and it and it. And it they go to duck flower right here, but I was trying to look for the video. They don't want to see you shitting on yourself, man. It's a duck flower. You know, with them sweatpants and that big ass brown How did the flower taste? Taste nasty? It's a duck flower. Yeah, it oh, tastes no, nasty. No, that's but I'm telling you, if you do it, no, it's not weed. I'm telling you, if you do it, it clean your But if I smoke it, I bet you. Can you smoke it? Sure, niggas. I don't think And you don't know. Let's crush it up. You might get it. Or he did 20, but he feel crazy. He want to show some shit with sweatpants. I'm going to call him. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, I don't think you can survive. She told me about how how was her. She tried to get me. She might not be in the country, though. Oh, she yeah, be she all over. She, she be all over. She give me a different type of drug. If she telling you how was her, yeah, she did. She trying to. I didn't want it. That's going to make you. That's going to make you. That's, some people it's good for. Yeah. 
Some Dude, people make them come come to grips to who they are. Uh, why? Did you ever take it? No. Why you? Cause after that experience, I don't want no Wasta. I don't want How long no Alaska. Do it last? Huh? How long do it last? What last? Ayahuasca. I'm asking you. You took duck flour. No ayahuasca. I ain't take that. Well, you took a part of it. Ayahuasca. That's part. Of, that's part. Of, that's part of that whole degree. That's part of one of the degree. Some people take ayahuasca and throw up too. You do know that, right? This joint ain't shit, man. And shit, she probably took the high part out, but you took part of the ayahuasca. Yeah, crazy. she gave you the. She said, "What? Well, what? Well, try this now." She asked. Think about it. You tried the duck flour. He was Let's a duck. On to the ayahuasca. Think about she it. She wanted me to go to another level. Now that she got they ain't got all that stuff out you. Yeah, was, I mean, now let's go over here so I'm you can get the pin yeah, fly. Duck fly. The duck fly will get mucus and everything. I get everything cleans everything. Man, go goddamn get some goddamn NyQuil. That do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm NyQuil okay. It works great for Must me. Sleep good. A bit, yes. And it clean up. And you got other little shit, man. I don't know about that duck flower, man. That's some other stuff. Yeah, that's, that's part that's shit. part of that's part of the ritual. Yeah. Look, look, look. <laughs> that was him getting in the naughty. <laughs> I know why you took that. I, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see why you took that. Bro, bro, hey, you want to smoke with us, bro? No, I didn't. Bro, yeah. <laughs> why, well, hey? No, bro, no, no. I see why. See that little spicy that chicken tender? Yeah, I'm like, and she rubbing that. his back. Bro, she get that's the first thing. If she's saying like that's common sense, like you would have tried anything on that day. Now let's go to another level. This mm. <laughs> looking crazy. Uh, 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 what you mean? This is it. I just wanted to clean. No, <laughs> it's others. See? It's next level. The ritual, I'm telling you. The ritual. <laughs> it's next level. It's next level. It is oh part of the ritual. And how she, she had on that pink too. Yeah, I probably took the flower too. You know what I'm saying? She probably yeah. did that. I'm looking at that like, uh, okay, I see why. Sitting Indian style rubbing in Yo, the you two, you had a cup by you? Oh, yeah. No, that was a joint. It was a trash bag because I was throwing up in the trash bag. So she knew soon. How long did it affect? When, how long did, before did it we got He up. did it because he knew was she was about to be there with him for 11 hours. How long? That's what I'm trying to tell you. No, no, no it take, it take about six to nine hours. So, so this is what happened. We met up. Like like four or five in the morning. Yeah, the went to the studio. She like people. I took it and before I know, I'm laying down. I'm trying to get it, and I just start throwing up like crazy. Throwing up and shit. Got him. Got him. She just rubbing his back. Rubbing his back. Yeah, I think I might have threw up too. Like deep, man. No, I'm like, that's why. I'm like, yes, <laughs> y'all, that's part of the ritual. I want you to know. Mine would smoke. Because look, if you do the ayahuasca, they probably tell you smoke too. Before doing it. We got to make a beat. Got Let's go. Out there. Let's make this beat. Come on, man. Listen, Timbo and the crew is making, they make an exclusive track from script. Tell them who y'all are. I'm Chris Serrano. Low key. Low key. That's the team, man. That's Timbo T, man. They making, they making a beat from scratch. <laughs> It's going down, yes. million dollars worth of game. This is the challenge, man. We got Timbo the Great, right? I'm talking about the legendary, I'm talking yes. about the historical. Timbo, mm -hmm. he made a beat on million dollars worth of game today. Now yes. that beat, we gonna let everybody out there rap on it, freestyle, uh, do whatever you wanna do. Right. The hottest ones, we posting them. Right, we posting, we posting them. Me. We posting on the Wallow, we posting on a million dollars worth of game, we, we posting post on the TikTok, we all post together that's like 11 million followers. It don't matter, followers. we post, the saying. hottest ones, you can we make a song to it, you can just rap to it, You can, I don't care where you rap at, Timbo made the beat live here on million dollars worth of game, there's a challenge yes. going on, we wanna post the hottest people, if you hot, you gonna get posted if you're not so hot. Ah. Uh, I ain't posting. Ah, ain't no. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know why he trying to get y'all to have ah, I ain't posting you. I'm only posting the hot niggas. Listen, man, it's the challenge, man. What you gonna do? It's your shot. Huh? Timbo might hear you and fly you down to Miami. Uh. You might be in the studio with Timbo and the uh. crew. Uh. You might Good. be in Timbo land. Uh. Might be in Timbo you land. Might, you might get. Uh. 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 Listen, this Sunday Bang. going down. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. It's going down. This Sunday and it's just like that. Right. Ow.